Hey guys, Fear again jumping in to quickly let you know that this is part two of the 21st of February's stream. We ran until it was like three or four in the morning doing that final run of uh, of mount farming for the for the heartbreaker. So uh, if you haven't quite, uh, if you haven't caught the first half of the stream, you might want to jump back to the previously uploaded video. Otherwise, enjoy. Goose, goose, goose. Wrap for me, they're cute. Rapid antigen test. <laughs> Ten points for Gryffindor. Agreed. That's the best answer. Oh my god. Canada goose. They're violent little bastards. Yeah, goose for me. They're such psychos. Geese are better than dogs for observing your ground. There you go. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I think I'd be a, a snug, snuggly, snuggly fluffer. <laughs> I got a lovely charm. No, piss off. Uh, all right. Blue containers on the ground. Right, so I need the animamotes. Oh. I'm gonna be rapid and just inside, inside sick people's mouths or noses. No thanks. Yeah, no, I'm the same. I would not like to be a rapid antigen test. Thank you. <laughs> well, people's mouths or noses either. No, agreed. Agreed with you there as well. I should appreciate it more if you're hot. <laughs> oh dear. Have you watched the new Barney episodes? Barney? What is Barney? I don't know what you're talking about, I'm sorry. I've never heard of them, sorry. I don't watch a ton, ton of, of WoW content. Like, I have a lot of, uh, like, friends and stuff that I watch. But, um, outside of that, not a whole lot, no. So, no, I've, I've never heard of them, I'm sorry. So, no, I've not watched any episodes, let alone the newest ones. But there you go. Having a small amount of fantastic. Glad you're enjoying yourself. I was thinking you might have meant the purple dinosaur. And I'm like, no, I have not. Clergy, Koala, Traum, Litter, Draz, Seeker, Dur, Thor, and Channel, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Ah, uh, boss time. Loyalty boss chest. Calliope. Let's head on into this one. Make sure you place those units. I'm trying not to die. Still loading. Good, good. Um, I legit thought you were talking about Barney the Dinosaur. I was hit with three levels of trial trauma at once. I also thought of the purple dino. I don't think of Barney's. There's these cakes with chocolate in called Barney. Okay, I was assuming the purple dinosaur also. My answer was still no. Agreed. I haven't watched Barney since I was a child. Uh, but that's okay. Oh, 
We had a chocolate cake today, Pix and Foob, amazing. I did not. I sat on my ass most of the day. I did go exercise though. I did an exercise. Anyone else have an irrational fear slash hatred of the dinosaur for like some part of their childhood? Uh, I cannot say that I did. That was just another children's show to me. <laughs> oh dear. That's hilarious. I've done that before probably run again. Fair enough. Seeker got caught by auto mod. <laughs> um. Happy uh, yeah. family. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I'm gonna do these last three runs and head to bed. Work really drained me more than I thought it would. Oh, okay, that's fair enough. I hope you're feeling better soon. No, I didn't have a chocolate cake before. It's your birthday. Well, my birthday is now officially ended because the the gift that Jas bought arrived today, and and we we arrived at the decision that um <laughs> that it would be my birthday until until that gift arrived, and it arrived today, so my birthday is officially over. Automod is not a fan of me. Automod is also not a fan of pound cake. <laughs> For sex-based language reasons. Oh, my cousin used to terrify me. Taught me that Barney actually wanted to eat me. So it was its way of lulling me into a sense of security. Yep. So that's not an irrational fear. That's your cousin being a fuckwit and abusing you. So that's fun. Um, sometimes perfectly reasonably. So sometimes. Sometimes. There's an auto mod. I'm watching you. Ah, oh dear. I was more into watching The Wiggles when I was a child. God, there were so many kids shows around when I was younger. I would have a hard time remembering all of them, I think. I feel like... Ah, uh, and then I gotta click him. I see. Okay. This makes more sense. Excuse me. Oh, fuck it. Whatever. Using the potion as you're supposed to definitely makes this quest a lot faster.
Oh, I want to go. I don't want to do that one. That one's got too much health. Um. Mm, so not the universal experience. Correct. Correct. Um. Apparently it was above 16 to show what the fuck. I mean, it's one of those, like, it's one of those things, seeing a childhood thing, except now it's older kids only. There's something kind of fun about, I don't know. Not really my cup of tea, but some people seem to enjoy it. Or that's a, you know, it's a um, nostalgia thing. Being able to go and watch the Wiggles and scream along to the, to the stuff and all that kind of, you know, why not? People are enjoying it. And clearly they're making money from it, otherwise they wouldn't be doing the shows, so... Good on them. First kid's show was Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh my gosh, yes. I do also remember Thomas. I have too much health and it's making me sad. I can handle it, I just don't want to. Perfect. Alright. Uh, last time I sat down and looked up the themes to all TV shows. I was just a kid. It's about 120, give or take. The Wiggles would be good live. I think the current Wiggles did a cover that won Hottest 100 this year. Oh, Jesus. There you go. Apparently it was all the OGs. Uh, nostalgia of the Mad Dash to visit the bathroom or fridge and the adverts break only return to the screams of siblings shouting, It's on again! Yep. Yep. Um, most of the lyrics and the themes as well. Fantastic. I look forward hey, to Sean. I think they play other music, not Wiggle songs. Look, maybe. Maybe. I'm proud of them. I'm so dumbfounded by the prospect at the time. How's the weather in Australia right now? Well, it depends on where you're talking about in Australia, because Australia is enormous. It is as big geographically as the United States. So, so which but where I am it's currently nighttime but it is a clear night it's not like raining or thundering or anything like that but it's been relatively warm uh interspersed with the oops interspersed with the occasional uh thunderstorm or or like burst of rain um but apart from that it's been warm and a little bit humid and sticky uh that's uh, in Brisbane where I live I hope you're well stove Warm to know there are cold bits and moist. Not all of it, like down south is exceptionally dry. Like, not humid at all, from what I have been told. Hmm, where I am, 30 degrees, 11 pm. Wonderful. Hmm. Exactly, Australia is so big, it's like asking how's the weather in America. But people don't understand that we're actually that big. Um, because, like, our. Population is a shitload lower than America, but that's because there are very few people who live in the middle because it's a desert, whereas America is covered fairly evenly with people um, and stuff like that. But yeah, so that's why that's why I kind of find that it helps to explain that Australia is as big geographically as the United States because then people kind of go, oh, shit. But, you know, not always. How's weather in Asia? Uh, not being a dick, just hard to give an honest answer. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Uh, there's a huge storm over here lately. Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, remember the times when survival wasn't melee? Yeah, 
yeah, from not too long ago. Uh, I'm melting. It's horrid. I'll have ice packs for chronic pain, so it evens out. Good. I'm glad it's evening out. Currently 36 Fahrenheit in Colorado. So I'm not. I'm. Do not know what that is in Celsius. I have nothing to compare that to. Sorry. Fair enough. Two degrees. Ah, that's not that bad. That's what I grew up with in Melbourne. Every morning on the way to school, being about that cold. I'm gonna jump around a scarf and you're golden. Yeah, I'm not gonna remember that. Nor that I nor do I really need to, because we, we genuinely do not use Fahrenheit in Australia at all. So like And if I'm baking, I just say, you know, hey woman who lives in my phone. What is 450F to C? And bam, I get a can I get a thing Nice and easy. <clears throat> Mmm, Christmas Day in Canberra. Hey, CJ. Love how you're Aussie. Uh, yep, I am Australian. That statement confuses me. Um, 42 Celsius. A woman living in your phone. Yep. I don't want to say her name because she'll start talking to me. Entering the building. These vile creatures serve the jail. We will grind them into dust. Never been in Woodbourne to be. Ah, that's fine. Some. Alrighty. Let's take out Evelana the Dread. And his imaginary friend who lives in her phone. She's not imaginary. She helps me search things without having to type the, type on the phone. It's lovely. Apparently I also have another one living in my watch. But um I haven't set her up yet, so she's still she's still sleeping. Because she's so nice. As is her voice actress. Uh, Warchest of the Undying Army. Mount? No mount. Good. Not good, but fine. Whatever. Uh, okay, that's Covenant Assault done. Let's go to Revendreth. Uh, she's a PvP glad. No. Wrong. No Priest is such a good class. I'm glad you enjoy it, CJ. It's awesome. I'm gonna say, hey, Google in the car because my husband used to have an Android. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Please change something. You want to go back and play WoW again? It's like an itch to have left it unfinished. You cannot possibly... Well, you could. You could finish WoW. I just... I don't see myself ever doing it. However, we have... I did learn today. I did the calculation today. And I've learned that, um... During the length of patch 9.1, they introduced 36 mounts, but I earned 76. So I'm ahead. I'm ahead, which is good. Uh, Banewood. Banewood? Banewood. No. Up we go. Down we go. Down we go. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. So next patch, they're adding 43. So I'm just... not a paladin. Uh... So I need to... I need to learn or like get, I need to score 44 or more mounts to stay ahead of the game. Never mind all the pets and toys and transmog and shit that they're adding. Just, 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 just looking at mounts. <laughs> I need 44 or more 
between Wednesday and the new expansion, I'm assuming. I think that's doable. Maybe. Which is the Mount Fish. You must PvP. Look, maybe. Maybe. When you watch is having a small snooze. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Apparently her name is Alexa. The fear stalkers, hope breakers, left these souls to rot. Please remedy this plight. I just think it'd be so fucking confusing having to like if I'm if I'm trying to search something by voice, having to use different. I mean, although using the same command for both my watch and my phone would cause potential issues. Maybe they both listen at the same time. So that might be good that they've got different names, but still, you know, it's a little bit strange. But I haven't set her up yet, so um, can't use her yet. So your favorite class overall? Mage. Fire Mage, specifically. How about you, CJ? Is it the Shadow Priest? Is there actually anyone who has finished WoW? There are people who have finished different aspects of WoW. Like, I mean, there are tons of people who have Cutting Edge, which is clearing the current raid tier at Mythic difficulty. Uh, they may also have best in slot gear because they've run it enough that they've had all the drops that they need. So that, that some people would consider to them to that to be complete because there's nothing else they're interested in. Um, prior to Shadowlands launch, I know that Desmephisto got every single warrior transmog piece in the game. Um, however, and so that you know that's one hell of a type of complete. Uh, however, it's one class. And it's just transmog. So, do you know what I mean? So there are other aspects of the game. It really, yeah, I don't think so. And honestly, I don't think there ever will be um, anyone to, com and there have also been people who have achieved every achievement available to them at the time. Um, but I think even if they stopped releasing new content, it would take such a long time to collect everything and achieve everything and earn everything that if they've stopped releasing new content, they'll probably shut the servers down prior to you being able to achieve everything. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Help Fear go full time, find out. Speaking of, if you'd like to help me achieve my goal of full time streaming, full time content creation, drop me a follow on Instagram if you wouldn't mind. I know it sounds strange. But 80% of brand deals are on Instagram. 80%, roughly, uh, are on Instagram. And that's where the money is. That's where the cashola is. And in order to be a full-time content creator, I need to still be able to pay my bills. Uh, and so there is a point at which you start getting brand deals that are products. Um, and that's great. Because getting products means I don't have to buy those products. Which means it frees up money to pay my bills and rent and stuff. However, that money to pay the bills and rent and stuff still has to come from somewhere, so I still need the job. Yeah? Like, the, the day job. However, if I can get to the point on Insta and on Twitch, so, like, both in conjunction with each other, if I can get to the point on both of them where I'm starting to get money for posts as well, then I'm getting product that I don't have to pay for, plus money to pay the bills. And that's, that's where the, that's the goal. That's the goal. I'm a fair way off. However, every follow helps. Every single follow helps, as silly as it sounds. Um, you know, there's... 3k is kind of the threshold to start earning decent cashola from the Instagrams. Um, but there is one follow between 2,999 and 3,000. So, like... But I am, I am a fair way from from all of that. I think last time we checked I was at what, was it 914 Seeker? I ask Seeker because Seeker's the most likely to remember out of me and, me and her. <laughs> um, 916, we're on 916, which is pretty awesome. Uh, first big threshold is 1k. 1k is when it starts opening up and you, you start getting noticed. And then 3k is when it starts becoming actually potentially profitable. Um, you're ahead of the curve. I am. I am. Lol. More Shadowlands quest I see. I was like, ah! Oh! Uh. Oh, got you. Understood. Got you. But yeah, no, you, like, look, if you're feeling, if you're feeling the itch to come back and play, you could pay for a month. 
and see how you go. And if at the end of that month you're still itching to play, you can pay for another month. And as soon as you stop having the itch, you can cancel your sub. No harm. The Moon Guard have a long tradition of training hippogriffs for battle. Take flight. Mm, give him a looks bad. Which worse than a photo. Ah, uh, we have a mate called Alex who has Alexa who renamed it Echo in their house. Yeah. I can, yeah, I can understand why. That's funny. Uh, Shadow and Balance Druid are my fave. Oh, fantastic, CJ. People consider getting AOTC finishing them. Yep, absolutely. There's a whole lot of different definitions for it, hey. Um, for my definition, I don't think I'll ever finish the game. But we can, we can try. We can have some fun trying, can't we? Greetings, traveler. Where am I supposed to be flying to? I'm not. Go to High Mountain 40 from good. Um... The stewards are the best. Do that now. Ah, oh, thank you for his great Instagram content. Look, I try. I try. It might not be for everybody, but I'm definitely trying. Um, and while you're there, there are two posts that involve step one. Um, which is my is sponsored content. Uh, I was sent seven pairs of underpants for free. Uh, in exchange for a bunch of posts and stuff like that. So that's that's a sponsorship. It's just a sponsorship in kind, uh, where they give you product instead of cash. But if I get good engagement and stuff, so like lots of likes and comments and shares and stuff like that, if I get really good engagement on those, then I'm more likely to get further stuff in the future, you know, because I can add that to my portfolio and say, look at how well... In, like, look at how engaged my community is. If I post about your brand, they will see it, they will interact with it, and they will probably purchase something. Like, do you know what I mean? They'll, they'll at least, they will definitely consider purchasing something. So that's what brands want. You know, they, they pay money, and in return, they make money. So yeah, engagement rates are awesome if you're feeling generous. Um, there are two posts. One that was only posted, I think, yesterday, like last night. Um, or maybe the night before, I don't remember, um, for, for underpants, and then a couple weeks ago, uh, same thing. Not the same image, different images, but still, still step one underwear. Uh, and there'll be another couple coming out over the next few weeks, so, um, definitely keep an eye out, because, uh, it's almost a little bit ridiculous how important that stuff is. I'm just getting better on these plugs. Thank you. I'm try. Look, I'm practicing, aren't I? I'm trying. I'm trying. Ah, uh, just followed. Thank you. You're super close to a thousand. It was nine thirteen. Awesome. Nine sixteen. There they go. Trying to get subs on YouTube. Only got thirty two. It sucks. Best bet is to post like cross post to a bunch of different social media. Because if you can build an Instagram following, and you can build a uh, Twitter following, and why is this up? Oh, because I'm in it right. Um, all that kind of stuff, because then if people can discover you there and then follow it through to, do you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's well worth building up your, so like, if you're trying to be a content creator of any kind, it is well worth building up a following on any and every platform you feel comfortable using. Uh, because there's always going to be someone who's on Twitter who doesn't use YouTube very much and is much likely, like, super, super likely to discover you via Twitter because you're like they're right in there on your niche but they're never going to find you on YouTube because they don't ever go randomly browsing but if they find you on Twitter and then follow you through to your YouTube then they've found you you know what I mean definitely worth definitely worth all right from memory I don't need anything from this dungeon because I've done it too many times with the world quest um then someone else said they did ah oh, that is so tempting Dark Last run and no mount. Okay. Next year. If we don't put her down now, <sighs> oh, next year. With an army of I can imagine you finishing the game. We can. We can. We can also try. My furry little bastard of a kitten wakes me up. But a god ungodly arrow may pop on for last minute runs. For sure. Well, I look forward to seeing you then. You know I'll fucking be here. <laughs> yeah step one. If I don't wake up, wishing you all the best for last 50. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Fingers body crossed, and hey, if it does drop, you bet your ass will be about 20 million clips. Oh, when was yesterday? When was a week ago? Yes, check them out on Instagram. Indeed. Indeed. And I'm honestly really, really proud of that content. Um, because, like, we took the photos 
And there were quite a few of them where I looked at them and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm bulging a little bit there and this bit here is a bit of a, like I felt really, really super self-conscious about my body. And I said, you know what? Fuck it. This is what the underwear looks like on my body type. Oh, fuck. I missed the water. <laughs> oh, no. So, like, I was really proud of myself that I was just like, nah, you know what? That's, that's what I look like. That's what I look like. If I'm unhappy about it, there are things I can do to change that. But that's what I look like. And it's super important. I love that on the Step 1 website... Uh, I'm not sure if it, I haven't really clicked around much for the men's collection, but for the women's collection, there's a button that says see it in my size. And you can click through all the sizes from extra small to 3XL. And they have women who are those sizes wearing the product in a photo, in a couple of photos, so that you can see how those sizes fit those body types. And I think that is such a brilliant idea. Because, like, how many goddamn times have you gone online to purchase clothing? Even just, like, clothes clothes, not, not even underpants, right? How many times have you gone online to purchase clothing? And you're, you're looking at it and you're going, wow, that's super duper cute. And then you scroll all the way down the bottom and it says model is 5'6 and is wearing a size 6. And then you order it in a size 10 or a 12 and you get it and you're like, this looks nothing like the picture. They did not scale up the size properly and it looks off or flat out ridiculous. The fact that they show you what it looks like on all these different bodies, I love that. It's just so wonderful and I wish more stores did that. I really do. But yeah, sorry. Step one rant over. Um, Right, time to say good night, rest well, Dan. We'll see you next time. I know what I'm buying myself for my birthday. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, well done. Also, others will not see it through. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But I do, and I'm the one who has to press post. I'm the one who has to allow it to be seen. Do you know what I mean? But no, I'm. Uh, I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. That's what I look like. Maybe I won't six months from now, but that's what I look like now. And that's, that is what it is. Let's do it. Where are you hiding your food, maggot? Where? You've already taken all the food we have. Search Dave, right after Ulrog Crag Shaper. Okay, that's fine. If you're not fighting, you're not eating. Mm, I really love that. Yeah, I, I think that's a fantastic choice from like a, a company perspective. Um, but yeah, so I've got two more posts to go live on Instagram. The third one is going to be quite similar to the second one that's gone up. But the fourth one that's going up is my absolute favorite photo. Like, possibly of me that I've seen in a very long... Like, it's my favorite photo out of the four of them, no doubt. Like, I loved the flat lay, like, on, on me and stuff. Like, that was just, like, that idea was brilliant. And then I kind of put it down and Jas was like that's awesome and then was like you know snap 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 but um like the the fourth photo of like the four that i've done up has to be my favorite um and it may well be the favorite photo of myself that i've had in in a while so um yeah i'm i'm really looking forward to seeing uh what kind of engagement i get on it because i think it's a really awesome pick um but we'll see We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe maybe it's all in my head. <laughs> Step one are amazing. I agree. Perfect. I agree. In fact, what am I? Which one? What color am I wearing today? They're the gray ones. The pale gray. I don't remember what they've called them. Stone. I think they're called stone. But yeah, I'm wearing the the pale gray ones today. They're so goddamn comfy. Mm, the idea of Andy's in the size, yeah, on them all looked equally well fitting. Exactly. It fit them all in different ways, but it fit all of them and that's like none of them looked like they were you know stuffed into a sausage casing none of them had it hanging off them it was just well fit across the board which is super great um a bunch of fucking weird tokens Def's not diminishing the inner voice and oh of course of course but yeah i was uh, i was proud of myself for just allowing it to be what it is rather than like trying to find poses that made it look different or nah fuck that it was just like no nah, this is what i look like it's fine uh hey what mounts are you after right now hello Gveld. uh i'm looking for the high mountain paragon cache 
because I still need them out from there. That's my, my current hunt. Uh, but I've got a list that I'm sort of going after, one after the other. And uh, once we hit 1 a.m. my time, it's currently tw uh, quarter past 10. But once we get to 1 a.m. my time, I'm going to be diving in for my last round of Heartbreaker runs. Because I've got 50 characters. Full account of tunes. Yep, it's great. Let me see photo number four. Follow on Instagram now! Exactly! Exactly. Okay, set up with the guacamole color on. Ah, oh, nice! Fantastic. I'm really looking forward to that. I missed out on the Valentine's Day uh, ones, the Valentine's pattern in the women's range. Uh, I missed out and I'm, I'm Devo. But, um, because it's so cute. But that's okay. Um, I am really looking forward to them expanding the uh, the women's line because they're just, they're so comfy. So fucking comfy. I am sorry. Uh, is I got worth to buy it? I saw a few people using it. Uh, for me, it is. For me, it is personally. I use it almost every single time I log into WoW. Uh, because I do so many different types of activities in WoW, I level a lot. I've got 50, level 50 plus characters, and I use Zygor to level all of them. I didn't use any boosts. Uh, I use it to do world quests. I use it to, like, auto not automate, but, like, because the automatic accept and turn in of quests. So if I'm doing something like the Ember Court, and I have to go and pick this up and turn it in, and pick this up and turn it in, and da da da, da um, I use it for all that, because it just shaves off those few seconds. Uh, I use it for like optimized paths for bonfires and candy buckets and lunar festival elders, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I, so I use it a lot. There are so many different features to the Zygor that I use, so it's definitely worth it for me. Plus I play a fuck ton of WoW. I play a lot of World of Warcraft. Um, so it is worth it for me, but that is that is still a very personal choice. So it may not be worth it for you. It's about having a look at what the guide can do and whether or not you would use those, like all those features and how often you would use those features. If you only use them once every couple of months, probably wouldn't be worth it. Uh, but if you use them regularly, like a few times a week, it probably would be. Um, but yeah, it's kind of fun. We did a lose. Oh no. Like, thank you, Demophilia Moni. You just finished my last day on all your tunes next year. I have faith next year. I've Yeah, I'm, I really wish it had dropped because I don't want to do the the runs are like day fifteen for me is one a.m. to four a.m. and it's a work day for me tomorrow, so I'm gonna be shit all day. So I really hope it drops at one a.m. Just personally, we'll see how we go though. Mmm. Mmm. Gold farming, mounts, achieves, etc. Mmm. It's got, like, so bloody many. Place your units, friends. Um, let me pop down some battle planning. So, um, you get, like, a lot. So, obviously, you got all your leveling stuff right the way through all the expansions. You have dungeon gu dungeon and raid guides for every single one. Um, useful for, for example, if it's one of those old classic dungeons that's a real goddamn labyrinth and you can't remember where to go, it'll help you with that. But also, if you pop it open while you're in the open world, Zygor will calculate the fastest way for your character with your class and all your toys and abilities and stuff, the fastest way for you to get to that dungeon if you're farming it for a mount or transmog or something. Um, daily guides, so obviously that's super handy, especially if you're going back and farming old mounts like the Argent Tournament and stuff. It'll give you an optimized route for all those dailies. Um, events, like I was saying, uh, your, your um, uh, like bonfire routes, elders, uh, candy buckets, any, like all the lovers in the air dailies has also done like an optimized route for those as well. Uh, reputation grinding. Uh, profession leveling, so it'll tell you grab this much of this and this much of that, craft X amount of these, etc, etc. Um, pets and mounts, titles, achievements, and then obviously you can stick some favorites in there as well. The gold ones are really interesting um, because it allows you to, if you, even if you're not trying to sell something, even if you're not trying to do like gold per hour, um, it gives you an optimum farming route. Like go around this circle killing everything. Or go around this circle gathering everything, etc., etc. So, um, yeah, it is it is supremely handy uh, for a lot of different tasks. Uh, but yeah, again, like if you're going to be using it, 
couple times a week versus a couple times every few months. Yeah, it, it's vastly different. So yeah, have a think about how often you use all those bits and pieces, how often you play WoW. Um, and yeah, it may well be useful to you. Uh, there was a referral link earlier. I'm not like an affiliate or anything. I don't get paid for selling Zygor. That's not what's happening here. Uh, I feel like it's important for me to tell you how I benefit from selling Zygor to you. Um, if you use my referral link and you purchase a subscription, every month that your subscription is active and paid for, my subscription is $1 cheaper. That's what, so I don't get paid. Um, but I do get a benefit. So it's important for me to know that you know that. Um, however, I've been using Zygor for a hell of a lot longer than I've had that referral link. Uh, I've been using it for over a decade. I've been playing WoW for just over 15 years now, uh, and I've been using Zygor for over 10 of those years. Um, I don't know exactly how, I can't remember exactly how long it's been, but it's been a while. So yeah, um, obviously, you know, you are free to make your own decisions. You don't have to listen to me or uh, take my advice, but there's a... Uh... Yeah. There you go. Um... Big burb, yas! Big burb! Uh, did you get the love rocket? I did not get the heartbreaker. No, not yet. But we have three more hours to try to get through one last round of 50 attempts. Uh, and that'll be starting at 1 a.m. my time, which is in 40, no, two hours and 40 minutes, roughly. Uh, no, she did not. Perfect. It has reputations. Yes, been confused because I have 15, 60s. Excuse me, a lot of 50s can't find the rest reputations. Missing because I'm like 63. Trying to hit the hundred. Ah, oh, so trying to figure out which ones you're actually missing. I would definitely recommend checking out Data for Azeroth. Uh, it's a website. It's dataforazeroth.com. I'm pretty sure. Yep, da Data for Azeroth, all one word. dot com. Uh, you can load up your character. You can load up all your alts on your Battle.net account, and it can scan them and see what you have, like which 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 reputations and stuff you have. Um, and then once you find one, you're like, oh, this one isn't done. You can then find the guide in Zygor for that reputation and then, like, go for it. <clears throat> yeah, I've got my 100 reps done. So I'm, uh... I'm golden. Thank you, keep in mind. I was usually... Aw, oh, thank you! Appreciate that, Dark. And even if you don't, even if you forget about it or you find someone else and they have a link and use theirs, all I hope is that if you do end up using Zygor, that it helps. Because it is such a useful tool. Um, but yeah, it's it's awesome. I like it a lot. I hope that it helps. Ah, uh, stay tuned for three more hours. Yes, 260 attempts this year, no love rocket. I've done 700. So far. And I've got 50 more to do after the, the reset. Um, when I'm off work, there's actually a super cool few other people use your link, both benefit from the add-on support from the stream. Exactly! And that's the thing, like, that dollar a month, right, it do it may not sound like much, and it, it's, you know, it's not going to pay a bill, but it does, every dollar counts. Every dollar counts. Like, there's a, there's a thing here, right, so I'm a humble partner, I'm, okay, Logitech I don't have an affiliate code for yet, um, but the stuff that cycles through here, Bubble Tea Club, um, they ship to Australia, New Zealand, United States, and Canada. YesStyle ships pretty much worldwide. There are a few places they don't go, but they're like uh, makeup and skincare and clothing. Uh, that's all kind of like uh, Asian, so like Korean, for example. So Korean K-beauty and K-fashion and stuff like that. Uh, if any of you are into like K-pop or like Korean dramas and stuff, like all the shit you see there, it's all available on YesStyle. And then, of course, Humble with their like... Um, bundles of, uh, of software and books and comics and, and games and all sorts of stuff. Um, and I've also got another one I haven't added to there yet, which is Mellow Cosmetics, which is makeup and it's Australian, uh, an Aussie brand. Um, but yeah, any, any purchases through there. Also skins in Stream Raiders, which we, which we play regularly. Uh, ooh, Enchant Cloak Word of Strength. Um, all of that stuff, if you're looking for anything, like if you're if you're after something like if you need to make a purchase or you're looking to change up your skincare routine or if you're whatever 
if I have an affiliate link for something that you're looking for, you might as well, you know? Even if it's not me, another creator that you support, because it doesn't, it usually doesn't cost you anything. In fact, usually it will save you something. You get a discount for using an affiliate code and you're helping to support creators uh, in making their stuff and things, which is great. So yeah, absolutely. Like, it's so worth, so worth. Um, word of strength. Oh, wow. That's a huge profit. Okay. So we're going to Q1. And we're gonna open task list. Have anything ancient to try? And we're gonna scan. Needs to be at least two centuries old. And we're gonna buy five. And we're gonna find, uh, find anything exotic. Bring it to me. A bloody mailbox. Um, can you post me the website data for Azeroth? That one, yes, brilliant. 700 this year, yeah. 700 so far, I've got another 50 to go. So I have a full account. 50 characters, all at 50 and a 50 plus level. So they're all eligible to get the thing. Uh, and I've run them every single day. All 50, every day. And I've streamed it too, just in case it dropped. Um, but yeah, I am looking forward to not doing it anymore. <laughs> I'm looking forward to not doing it anymore. Uh, okay, so I need one of these. Mm, good. And I'm gonna... Did I not buy one vellum? I did. Come back with some better stories. Oh, they light shot. Ah, oh, right. I need to. Yeah. Okay. Craft. Ah, uh, yeah. You see, go with the humble link. There's zero reason to not use an affiliate link. Exactly. Unless you're like actively trying to not support somebody, in which case use somebody else's affiliate link. Like <laughs> it, it genuinely like it. It benefits you. It does benefit you. Um, but yeah, at the moment I'm. Uh, why switch to Alexia? No, I don't want to switch to Alexia. I'm guessing she's got Leylight Shards. She does, in her bank. God damn it. Um, what did I want? Chaos Shard. I typed in Coas, you guys. <sighs> Look. Not Chaos Shard? Chaos Crystal? Right. Is that the one I want? It is, yeah. Good. I know, right? If you find anything exotic, bring it to me. Oh, fuck, I need to go back to the thing. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, would you rather be a dinosaur or a woolly mammoth? I feel like this one is a no-brainer, but still. Uh, hmm. Dinosaur, I think. Because a woolly mammoth... I live in Brisbane and it gets hot and I know that they'd probably die out, but that's probably because they overheat. Like that's not a pleasant thing to, yeah, nah. I'd like the ability to not be warm. Personally. What has the wind brought? So much effort for 75 rep. Oh no, wait. 375 rep. Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, that was well worth. Um, okay, this one. Is this High Mountain? It is High Mountain. 57%. Um, out of Azeroth, I can put all my characters together and find the missing reps. Yep. Yep. Um, you got to follow the instructions. Have a click around and you'll find, like, in your account. you got to make an account first, but it'll tell you how to do it. Um, you just got to, yeah, make an account and read. Are no match for the guard. Uh, next year it'll hopefully be different. Next year I hope I don't have to do the runs. I hope that it drops out of these 50 last ones that I've got to do. Rumble, the power 
And then I won't have to do it next year because I really don't want to. <laughs> <clears throat> Currently doing laps of the Isle of Giants. Wonderful. Looking for your egg? Or are you farming up bones? Uh, measure bones before you realize you should be saving up for. Yep. Yep. It's surprising how quickly you can grind up to the, the 10k though. 2000 each lap? Yeah, it's real quick, hey. Especially now that we're massively above level 2. So quick. Um. Mm. Delightful. <clears throat> Peach bubble tea. So freaking tasty. Is that some bubble tea? It was! Got hammering the affiliate links tonight, hey? I kind of almost feel like a sellout, but like, legit, I don't affiliate myself with anything that I don't believe in. It's as simple as that. Like, I just don't. It's not worth trying to sell something that is subpar and losing the trust that I've spent six years building with the community. Like literally I've been streaming for six years. It'll be six years on Wednesday. Uh, we're celebrating on Saturday. Um, and yeah, like <laughs> that's a hell of a lot of trust to build with the community and to throw that all away for the potential of a couple, couple bucks, not worth, not worth it all. Uh, is your guild still looking for people? Uh, my guild is full of all my olds. That's it. I use it. Like, I use the guild bank as storage and stuff like that. I don't do any content with a guild. Uh, I do it with the community. Uh, so we do have an in-game community for, uh, Horde Folk. I don't think it's a cross-faction community. I think it's just a Horde one. I don't remember. But we also have the Discord server. Um, so that's, that's a thing as well. <laughs> Bedtime. Yeah, not nah. Not happening. Good lord. Yeah, I th I'm not sure that our custom link for Discord works anymore. Um, because we lost a couple boosts today. We lost five boosts, so um, that's dropped us below level three. So I have a feeling... Um... <clears throat> yeah, we don't have... We don't have our custom link anymore, I don't think. Yeah, invite invalid. Yeah, we lost it. Damn. And like, if I were to boost it, like if I were to apply five boosts, it'd be 175 US dollars a year. I don't know about y'all, but I can't afford that. Um, that's a lot of money. Shit. Okay, give me for the alliance. A second. Let me see if I can grab. If anyone has a spare Discord Nitro Boost sitting around in their account, um, I would massively appreciate the boost. And you do get like a little badge and, and special role and all that kind of stuff in the in the server, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, the custom invite doesn't work anymore, which really sucks.
is that not working to paste it in? Can I paste it elsewhere? No, of course I can't. So they, if you type Discord now, you'll get the, the old link that now is functional again. That's okay. Um, mm, I have to wait for so many hours. I have to pay for dental work. Yeah, plus it is me if you are spamming, to be fair. Indeed, indeed. Good luck in your jobs. Thank you, Dark. Much appreciated. You're very, very welcome. Call parents for a two-minute question. End up talking for 15 minutes. I feel you. I, yep. I, oh shit, sorry, that was me. That was me, you guys. I forgot to turn streaming mode back on. There we go, fixed it. Fixed it. Okay, we're good. Discord link not working. No, we had, um, so we had level three in Discord because we had a bunch of boosts. Um, and we were on level three, which means you get a custom Discord invite link, which was discord.gg forward slash Fiamma because that's who I am. Um, but though the, uh, the links, the boosts, sorry, the boosts have expired. Um, so we've dropped back down to level two, which means we don't have the custom invite link anymore. So that custom invite link of gg.fiyama, uh, slash fiyama, sorry, that is no longer valid because we don't have level three. So it's okay, we do have a different one, uh, the old link. So I've just gone and fixed up the bot messages. Um, so it should, it should work now. Um, main alliance, but also like Horde. Horde or alliance, yeah. Look, it is, it's a difficult question, hey? Oh, I thought I'd ask anyway. It sucks India yeah, pricey much? Yeah, it is. Like, if it's just one or two, I could probably afford it, especially considering it's per year, not per month. But, um, yeah, 170, so what was it? 174.95 USD to AUD. Okay, I typed that wrong. There we go. Fixed. Uh, that's 243 Australian dollars at the moment. And that's a lot of money. Um, well, I mean, it's a lot of money to me. It may not be to other people, and that's totally okay. You know, everyone everyone has different kind of levels of what is a lot of money to them. Uh, and that's all right, but that's that's a fuckload of money to me. Um, especially when I'm trying to save up for my, my dental work and stuff. Uh, that's okay. Maybe, maybe eventually, uh, once I'm in a better place financially, I'll be able to do that. Because, um, again, it is yearly, and I can put money aside every, every month to cover it. But, um... As, as it stands at the moment, I can't afford that. Um, but that's okay. What's your favorite mount? My favorite mount sip is Ashes of Allah. It was the first one that I actually tried to farm because it was the first one that I really wanted. Oh, bugger off, you bloody numpties. Yeah, 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 I'm trying to get away. Fucking hunters. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Ashes of Allah. It's just, it's freaking gorgeous. How about you? How about you, Sip? What's your favorite? You just build link works. It should do, yeah. Awesome. We've had 789 people join using it, so it should work. I think it's a good one. It is. I love it a lot. I love it so much. Love Sarge's tail. Wish he had wings. Yeah. Yup. Indeed. Too many of the blood totem have gone over to the legion. <clears throat> now these fell totem are gathering their strength. I do not intend to let their betrayal go unpunished. The blood totem had been growing more distant for years now. But to side with the Legion? 
Okay, that's them ticked off. Uh, there's nothing else I can do for them, and I'm still only at 63% of Paragon, so that's okay. We move along to the Unshackled. Uh, so, Tanajita! Fun times. Fun times. I'm gonna allow that. <laughs> Some of these diners are dropping 45 bones apiece. Ooh, yeah. That's a... That's a few. Again, with the dirty, not dirty terms. Yeah, it was bones apiece. Bones apiece was, uh, was what got you caught there. Super fun times. Okay, let's... Chita Dailies! Let's do some of these, shall we? The Conch. Mm -hmm. Okay, on rank five. Poen! Let's go with Poen. Is it is horde champion? Nah, okay. Unfortunately, no parag uh, no no emissary today, but that's all right. What are all the quests? I should be tracking low level quests. I'm not. Why not? What the hell? How did I manage to change that? God damn it. <laughs> oh, a stretch. I've had to add you in Discord. Could you send a link in PM, please? Huh? I don't know what you mean, CJ. What are you talking about? You shouldn't need a link in PM or anything like that. All you need to do is click the link, the new link that that's dropped in, the one that starts with AHU. You can click that. Um, you can't speak for 10 minutes, but that's to prevent people from spamming and shit. Um, we had people jumping in and uh, sharing pictures of genitals and things like that, and so we we put in a thing. You have to wait. You have to wait for ten minutes. Can I do anything for you? Batman trailer, fantastic. Enjoy. But yeah, um, as long as you're a member of the Discord, you like. You sh I shouldn't need to like. There's no. There's no DMing. It wouldn't claim my account. I don't know what that means. I don't know what claim your account means. If you're not logged in, if you don't have a Discord account, then you're not going to be able to join the Discord. Uh, it's not just a public thing that anyone and anything can join. You need to have a Discord account. It's something that people did. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Absolutely lucky. Luckily, funnily enough, luckily, uh, we have a, an incredible mod team. Fragrant, fragrant Cacavia. All right. Um... Fragrant Cacavia. Crafts 10, so I only need to make one. Good, good, good. Um, oh, but I'll work it out. Very happy I missed that. Did oh yay for mods? Yeah, they're awesome. Uh, it hasn't happened in a long while because we have the, the verification thing. you got to wait 10 minutes before you post, and 10 minutes is often too long for uh, trolls, and they'll just move on. Which, I mean, it's not great that they're moving on to somebody else, like another another server, to spam them instead. But if everyone had verification stuff on, like if everyone had that you had to wait, then maybe they get bored of everyone. Remember chat roulette? I never partook in chat roulette. Not once. I had a bad with random redditors that found out I was a female DM in D&D. Yeah. Does Reddit have an option to, like, disable DMs? Something. Fierce mods are the best. Look, I like them a lot. There's a reason they're mods. Um. <laughs> Fiari mod mothers, indeed. Fairy. Who? We don't spell anything correctly here, Zam. Come on now.
But yeah. Um, I've never heard of that error before. Claiming an account. I barely send pictures through Reddit GM, so that's been horrifying. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I have to have the app open for it to join Discord. It's changed. Ah, yeah, look, um, often, like, when I'm joining a new Discord or something, it's like, are you sure? And it'll have me scan the screen's QR code with the Discord app on my phone to verify the login and stuff, which I think is a super easy way to do it rather than having to remember my bloody password. Um, but yeah, that's fun. But there you go, yeah, once you've joined, um, it will be 10 minutes before you can post, but uh, I thank you all for your patience. Hope that it'll be worth the wait. I'm lazy, so instead of flying back up to take Najatar Portal, I'm teleporting myself back up the mountain. Because it's all the way up there, and that's a long way away. <laughs> Good oh, you're at it if you're able. Fang Fear, a follow on Instagram. Fuck yeah. You can actually find my Instagram. There's a socials channel in Discord. And it links every time I post a tweet or an Instagram image, it'll it'll post it in there. So you can jump in there and follow that through to my Insta and follow me. Um, or you can type exclamation socials in chat and it'll give you an all my links link, which gives you, wait for it, all my links. <laughs> Isn't it great? Requires cooking fire. This is big enough to cook on, right? Good. Okay, so let's turn that in. So many to count. Oh no, sit. Well, I'm glad you're back. Welcome back. Uh, Lothian Prowler. Agreed. Very cute. Definitely agreed. Uh, I'm not doing that. I want to do this. Good. Okay. So we're going to get the impregnable cone shells and then grab the necrophin murlocs while we're there. Um, generally I'm terrible with meeting new people. That's okay. What is wrong with your nose if you don't mind me asking? Not at all, Pika, and thank you for being polite about it. Um, I've had a ton of people come in here and imply that I'm on some form of illegal powdered substance and all sorts of stuff. Um, I have an autoimmune condition, uh, which means that my, in case anyone is unaware of what that means, it means that my body attacks itself because it thinks I am an invader. So, like, when you get infected with a bug, your immune system attacks the bug, Except my immune system also attacks me. <laughs> and it means that my sinuses are fucked. Um, so I can barely breathe on the best of days. Uh, my sinuses are like permanently inflamed. I'm not sniffing because there's something running out of my nose. It's actually more like my sinuses are kind of almost sort of closing up a touch sometimes and kind of going like opens everything up and allows air in. I know it's bad. Trust me, if it annoys you, it annoys me a hundred times more because it itches as well. Like the inside of my face is itchy 100% of the time. <laughs> so I, I know it's annoying and uh, it's, unfortunately it is what it is. Uh, I've been dealt some 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 halfway shitty cards by, by life and my body. And I just kind of have to uh, deal with it as best I can. But I do totally understand if it's something that is just like a, a deal breaker for some people and they ha they cannot stand the sound and they have to leave. I totally get that. I'm not offended in the slightest. Um, I promise you it annoys me more than annoys you. Uh, but yes, that is, that is what is going on inside of my face. It's great fun. Great fun. <laughs> Welcome to all the new viewers. Indeed, autoimmune condition irritates nose. It does. It does. Ah, uh, nasty thing to have. It is. You are correct. It's very unpleasant. <laughs> I dislike it a lot. If I could not have it, if I could choose not to have it, then I absolutely would. Uh, unfortunately, I can't. All I can do is uh, just manage it as best I can. Uh, not knowing it all, actually, just curiosity. Oh, really? Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad to hear that. 
Uh, just curiosity, sorry to hear about your condition. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, but no, it's all good. It is what it is. Um, it's genetic. Uh, eight to ten percent of the population has this condition, or has the gen the genes for this condition, because it is genetic. But of that eight to ten percent, one to two percent of those people actually have the gene activated. Uh, and I'm one of the lucky ones. I keep winning the wrong fucking lotteries. But whatever. <laughs> Zam, Little, Spam, Seeker, Kung Fu, and Durin. Congratulations on all your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Uh, second new pet. Oh, wonderful, Seeker. Congrats. I honestly barely noticed it. Now, notice at the start, I figured it was a vocal tick. Didn't think of anything. Didn't think anything of it. That's really interesting. Because, I mean, like, there are definitely times that I don't think about it at all as well. And then someone will ask me a question and I become hyper aware of the fact that I'm doing it. And I try not to. And then I start mouth breathing. And then my mouth dries out. And then it's just this whole terrible situation. And it's just fucking shit. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a fun time. But, um, yeah. I've raised it with my, my doctors because I've got a few doctors that I, I work with because of all the shit um, and I've raised it with them a few times before and they're just kind of like it is what it is sort of thing it's it's not something that we can really do anything with uh, I'm tempted next time I go in to be like please just shove a camera up there and see if there's anything we can do I know it'll hurt I don't care it sucks but uh look um Sometimes it's not worth doing investigative stuff, especially if it's going to end up causing damage. Because, um, hey, if there's a chance it'll make it worse than it already is. Nah, I'm good, thanks. Ah, uh, so it never bothered me, to be honest. Back from lurking. Welcome back, Exo. I'm glad. Look, there are, there are some people who it irritates, like, drives them up the wall. Um, kind of like, you know, uh, people with, like, eating noises, right? There are some people who cannot stand, like, a chew the, the sound of chewing. But then there are other people who it just doesn't really, like, whatever. Um, and I'm assuming it's going to be the same with the with the sniffling. Um, and I understand that it's going to cause people to leave. Um, but it's not like it's something... Like, if it was something that I could actively control, then I could learn to, like, break the habit if it meant keeping more viewers around kind of thing but this because it's a medical issue it's like you know what fuck it if, if people are irritated by it I understand that I get that I'm not offended um there are hundreds of thousands of other streamers and, and all that kind of stuff all you know that tangent but um I'm I'm really glad that those of you who are sticking around um don't mind it and you know it, it doesn't bother you too much uh definitely makes me feel a little more comfortable in my own skin as much as it doesn't help with the annoyance that I feel, um, it, it does help knowing that I'm not irritating other people as well. Or as, like, I mean, I know I am eventually, but, um, yeah. Ah, fun times. Uh, plus two dollars. So the Dino Hunt, nice. Same, don't hear it anymore. Awesome. Body knows you being a banshee and possessing that poor woman's body, so it's trying to exercise. Excuse me? I'm offended. <laughs> oh dear. I have a sister with cerebral palsy. Ah, oh, however it's spelled. Cerebral. So uh, C E R E B R A L, because it's like of your cere like cerebrum. Cerebral. Yep. And then palsy is P A L S Y. Palsy, as it, uh, rather than paw, like a dog's paw. Palsy. Yeah, I've had a. I've known a couple of people through my life. We've had cerebral palsy. Um, uh, bad scoliosis myself. There you go. There you go. Isn't it fascinating? Like, we're so, such different bodies and all of the magnificent ways they can fuck up. <laughs> like, it is amazing what our bodies can do. Like, don't get me wrong. The fact that we can turn food into poop and somehow get energy from that process is incredible. Um... And, and all the do like creating life, which is a thing that, uh, you know, a good chunk of the population is able to do is make new humans. And, and, you know, some of the population can walk and some of the population can jump and some of the population can walk on their hands and all these ridiculous things that our bodies can do and all of the magnificent innumerable ways they can be broken. It's mind blowing. 
the range of human bodies that there are on this planet. Mind blowing. Uh, honest, I promise it's not annoying. You used to have a real problem with it in other people. Yours doesn't trigger my sensory issues. Oh, interesting. Maybe it's because like with the, the microphone and the pop filter over it, it's like softens it a little. It's not as sharp a sound or something maybe. Um, who knows? It's curious though, hey. Uh, did you get the mount? No, I have to stay up. But that's okay. I have a bottle of Coke in the fridge in case I start fading. And I have a bottle of Coke in the- a second bottle of Coke in the fridge for tomorrow for when I definitely start fading during the <laughs> work day. Uh, and so the next- the next lot of runs are, are kicking off at 1am. Which is, uh, just over two hours away. Knows you. So we're getting there. He could be of assistance. We're getting there. And hopefully it drops on the first run and I can go the fuck to bed. <laughs> How are you going, Nab? Welcome back. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Or day. Fuck. Time zones. Look. I never notice it as well. It's not annoying. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, it's all to do with genes. Well, mostly. Yeah, absolutely. There are a lot of things that are genetic and then other things that aren't. But, um... And some things are a mix of both as well. Like, you have a genetic thing, but then it needs an environmental trigger to, like, mine, for example. Like, I said, you know, a tenth, one in ten people have the gene that I have that fucked me over. But only one percent of those one in ten. So one in a thousand people. Yeah, I think that's the right math. Only one in a thousand people ever have it triggered. And then people who do have it triggered, sometimes it's just one off thing and then it goes away when they've medicated it. But mine, every time I come off the meds, it seems to come back. So I, I can't, yeah, it's just fucked up. Um, I can tell you the whole goddamn story if you like. I got diagnosed when I was 26. Yeah, it, all the symptoms kicked off when I was 25. And then um, I finally, like it finally got the diagnosis. Um, somewhere a couple months after my 26th birthday and I kept having people tell me that I was too young to have arthritis and I'm like except I'm not because I do uh but yeah so my my official diagnosis is cirrhotic arthritis so cirrhotic as in like psoriasis um except I don't have any psoriasis uh although there are a few little symptoms here and there that I've noticed um that may be tangentially like psoriasis but not the usual presence like I don't have the scaly skin patches or anything like that um so but what I do have is really weak nails and my nails tended to peel a lot um and through some of my research I found out that sometimes that can be like a lot of people who have psoriasis end up having pitting on their nails so if you look at the nails it looks like it's a soft plate and people have like stuck pins in it to make little dents and they call that pitting um but another sign can be that it um that they peel that the the nails are really weak and peely so potentially that um and then yeah i uh, i got uh i said I i've been told that the um the gene could have been triggered by uh the flu or a cold or a bout of gastro, you know, eating something that didn't quite agree with me and having a couple days of upset tummy could have triggered my autoimmune condition. Um, Never again will my people forsake and in times of need. Thank you. Yeah, so my knee swelled up. My right, my right knee. So if you were looking at me, it'd be on the left, but my right knee swelled up. And, um, what am I doing? Oh, killing snapdragons. And it was, uh, I called it my clown knee because it was like, if I put a tape measure around it and a tape measure around my other knee, my big knee was twice the circumference of my little knee. So it was ridiculously big and fucking hilarious to look at, but also really uncomfortable. I couldn't walk on it. I couldn't bend it and I couldn't flex it. So I couldn't straighten the leg at all. Uh, and I couldn't bend it at all either. So it was kind of stuck in, in this sort of position and I could kind of move it to there or I could move it to there. But like that was, that was the extent of movement. So I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk. Um, I was on crutches for three or four months while they figured out what the hell was going on. Um, they tried a whole bunch of different meds. They drained my knee. They, they put a sharp object into my knee joint and allowed the fluid to flow out of that sharp object. Uh, into a specimen jar, you know the ones that you like the pee in a cup things? 
it filled a whole pee in the cup of fluid from my knee joint. And then they put steroids in there that were supposed to last a week. They lasted about 36 hours. Um, it was a whole thing. And then eventually I got onto meds and they worked really well for about a year and a half. And then my body started going haywire. Uh, I have a lesion in my brain, just a little baby one, little baby lesion in my brain. Um, I have patches of, of skin on my body where I can't feel anything. So I can feel like if I push on them, I can feel that I'm pushing on them. But if I do like just a lot, really light tickling, can't feel it. Heat, can't feel it. Cold, can't feel it. I can't, it's like, it's like the sensation just on the very surface is completely gone, but there are still nerves underneath in the, in the fat, oh, not in the fat, but in the muscle. So I can feel when I press on it because the nerves are deeper than I'm feeling, but nothing on the surface, no sensation whatsoever. Uh, and they started popping up one by one and uh, they've never gone away. Um, they thought it was because of the lesion in the brain, but turns out it's not. It's completely in the wrong place to be doing that. So that's unrelated and they don't know why that's there. Um, and then my liver failed. And I got diagnosed with drug-induced lupus. So they pulled me off the meds and said, well, there is a chance that we pull you off the meds and your symptoms don't come back. So you don't, we don't have to find you another one that will work. We can just, we can just leave it. So they pulled me off the meds and my symptoms came back. <laughs> It was a, it was an 80% chance that my symptoms would not come back and I got landed in the 20%. Uh, so I had to try something different and I did try something different and that worked, that worked really well. No side effects or anything that I noticed. So that's good. But yeah, it's, it's been a hell of a journey. Um, so to clarify, uh, diagnosed, like swelling happened at 25, got diagnosed at 26. Uh, I'm now 32. So it's been a while. It's just a part of life now. But yeah, fun times. Fun times. But yeah, I'm pretty open with all that kind of stuff. So if you do have any questions, I'm usually more than happy to answer them. Um, and if I'm not, if if there's a question that's asked that I'm uncomfortable with, I will just say no. <laughs> I'll just I'll just explain that I'm not comfortable answering, and we'll move on. No, no hard feelings. So yeah, it was a it was a. Fun time. So from psoriasis, it flares up on my head during stress. Yeah, possibly. I'm just happy I can stick around, of course. What's your opinion about the new mounts? Um, there are 43 of them. That's all I know. I haven't really looked at what they are or how to get them or anything like that because I didn't want any, I don't want any spoilers uh, for the new content. So I don't have an opinion, I don't think, except for the fact that I'm excited to collect another. Whoa, that's a fancy one. Uh, except for the fact that I'm excited to collect another 43 mounts. Yeah. Ah, uh, pretty. Ah, uh, for some viewer, for some commenter. Ah, oh, I didn't notice anything. Fantastic. Glad to hear it, Alex. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, what are you farming at the moment? Uh, Unshackled Paragon Mount. Unshackled Paragon Mount. Ah, uh, if it feels a lot later than 32 minutes past usual, doesn't it? Well, it's an hour past now. But, um, yeah, it does. It feels a lot later than that. Um. Should be run lol. Is update AU time or American time? Uh. Whenever I use, whenever I talk about times that things are happening, I usually use Australian Eastern Standard Time because that's my local time, which is Australia, but not Sydney. Um, Sydney server time is an hour later. So if I'm talking about how my runs start at 1am, that server time, it's 2am um, because I live in a different state with a different time zone because we don't use daylight savings in Brisbane, in Queensland, because we'll make sure reasons. Up somewhere safe. Uh, I didn't know how school is. It was 1927 now. There you go. There you this go. Uh, I've only got my five nether rays. Oh, congrats! It's actually not bad if a max level druid. I can understand that. Congratulations! Well done! Well done. Dream Dad, Azeroth, I found 63 as my collective rep and 131 missing. So the 131 is what I need to farm, I guess. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Looks like the website working. Awesome! 
How do you know the puzzle though? Oh, because this is this is old content. I've been doing it for a while. Um, but those kind of ones, it you gotta uncross the wires. It comes up on the screen to say uncross the wires. Uh, and I like puzzles. So it tends to be fairly easy for me to figure out how to like those ones are they're pretty they're pretty basic puzzles, and so because I love like really complicated puzzles, they tend to be a little easier. But um, whenever I do Shah farm, like the, the Shah of Anger for the world boss mounts, um, I use as a toy, the engineering toy that you have to uncross wires. And when I'm doing that one, I usually explain my thought process as I go along, like I narrate what I'm doing. And I've had a lot of people tell me they've learned so much about it um, just by watching and listening. Because there's an achievement for those, for the toy, the engineering toy. So, yeah. Thank you, but Well done, Seeker! Congrats! Sounds exhausting. Thank you for sharing. That's okay. It gives me hope. I'll be as comfortable with my conditions as you are with yours. Look, it took time. It took a long time. Um, and it also, I did have therapy and that helped me and I still attend uh, therapy. Uh, in fact, I have a psych appointment on Wednesday. Um, so roughly once a month nowadays. I used to go almost every week um, and then I kind of stepped it back to two and then three and now I'm like roughly every month. Uh, and sometimes I miss a month if stuff's going on. Uh, and it seems to go okay, but I always know that if I need a session in that gap, then I can I can reach out and book one if need be. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I I was really angry a lot, uh, kind of moving between angry and sad a lot when I first got my diagnosis because there was a lot of stuff that I used to be able to do that I couldn't do anymore. Um, so I was angry with my body for betraying me and I was sad that I was not who I, not the person I used to be or I felt like because, you know, my body was fucked and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it, it, did, it did take a long time, but I got back to a place where I was, um, not, not happy about it. Definitely not happy about it, but, but certainly a lot more comfortable with it and kind of accepting this is my new normal and I just have to... I have to deal with it. Like, I can't do anything to change it. And if there is stuff I can do to change it, making sure I actually stick with it. And, um, yeah, but... Yeah. My, my feeling was kinda, you know, I do everything that doctors tell me to do. Uh, and either I do everything they tell me and it, and it works and fantastic, or I do everything I'm supposed to and it doesn't work and that's out of my control anyway. At least I did. Like, you know, it's not, I didn't only do half of it and that's why it didn't work. If I do everything and it still doesn't work, at least I did my part. It was just that it, it wasn't going to work. Um, that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly a, a time. It was certainly a time. Uh, is there anybody? Yas. Well done, best way to be. Thank you for telling us. You're very welcome, CJ. Not a worry. And that's that's kind of one of the reasons I I do share my my story when appropriate. Um, because like you know, there's there's bound to be a part of it that's going to resonate with people, and if it helps even one person, sort of you know, not even if it, not even come to terms with what they're dealing with, but help them know that they can in the future potentially come to terms with it. Then, um, then that's good. Because it, it helps, you know? Uh, so, order rep? Yeah, order rep at the moment. Um, and once I've done all the world quests and daily quests here, then I can move on and do uh, stuff elsewhere. But yeah, just kind of waiting for 1 a.m. to hit at this point. Um, when it hits probably, you know, close to 1, I'll probably sit Someone back to the, the garrison. To those Naga. And right oh, excuse me. Someone is you. And uh, just wait for the message, daily daily quests of reset, and then straight in the queue. Because, um, yeah, I want to get them. I, there's, a, there's a chance that if the queue times are shit, I won't be able to get them done. Or 50 in the three hours. So I'm, I'm really, like, hoping against hope that I'll get half-decent queue times and, uh, and, and get them done. Emote only. Shit, am I that far behind? Oh, I'm only five minutes. It's okay. Here we go. Emote only. Um, and we also have uh, emote wall up here. So like, if you if you spam your emotes, if you show me your pretty pictures with emote only chat, uh, they'll bounce across the screen. So uh, have fun. 
Have fun. Uh, it's funny, so many people... So many people, always the capital city of Australia, wrong. I'll get the capital city of Australia wrong. We have a whole entire capital territory. <laughs> kind of fancy, hey? Uh, just midnight here in New South Wales. Yeah, we've just tipped by uh, tipped by eleven here, so we've got just under two hours until the. Uh, uh, sorry, it's itchy. Uh, two hours, just under two hours until the uh, last round of attempts begins. And I do apologize to any headphone users, including myself and my neighbors. If it drops, there will be noise. Prepare your butts. That I want to learn to. Oh, the, the wire thing? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I love that puzzle. So look, stick around and I betcha eventually we'll end up back at Shah. And while I'm waiting for the respawn, I just sit there with the toy because it's a really great way of passing time. Um, so yeah, if you stick around long enough, I almost guarantee you, you'll see me doing it and you'll get um, the the tutorial. I've done the, I have, I've done the armaments, fantastic. I love that bloody thing. It's so good at like just passing time. Uh, I've tried to do the achievement with Lingshot level 20, went to level eight, couldn't go on the next level, so I give up. That's what I'm talking about. It's freaking awesome. Maybe, maybe what we do, I've got to do this and then Tol Barad, and then maybe I'll go back to the garrison and just show you it anyway until 1am hits. Might as well, right? I did say it was a good way of passing time. And I haven't gotten much further than like level 22 or 23 because it's just there's no point once you get the achieve, right? Let's see how far we can get. Still in the angry sad stage. I think I'll do a little better when I eventually manage to get a diagnosis. Yeah, getting a diagnosis, having an actual label of this is what is wrong, often, not always, but often opens the door to this is how we fix it. Uh, and I found that to be really helpful because once I got the label, I was eligible for treatments. You can still have a life with this kind of thing. Really need to hear it today, if I'm honest. Yeah, you, you absolutely can. Your life may not be what it was five years ago. But it's still a life. Absolutely. And if you keep up with, like, your prescribed treatments and stuff like that, if they tell you <coughs> to adjust your diet, if they tell you to adjust your activity levels, all that kind of stuff, like, fucking do it. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Even if it's not your most favourite thing to do... <clears throat> I can remember my given, you know, my physiotherapist gave me like half an hour worth of like stuff to do. And it felt so stupid. Like it felt like it was exercises designed for an 80 year old with like no muscle, like no muscle strength whatsoever. And I'm just like, this feels so silly. I feel like I have more than enough strength to do this. Why, why am I doing this? But I did it. I did it exactly as they told me. And it helped. I didn't have like the muscle soreness from exercise that I was expecting to have because that's, you know, that's what I usually, that's what you think of exercise, especially doing like altered squats and things like that. But what it did do was give me back the mobility in my knee. And that was what the idea, it wasn't like, some of it, yes, is to build strength, but it's not to, not to build like muscles. It was to build enough strength to support the joint. And that, and it, that's what it did. And I just had, I had to learn to fucking trust. I had to learn to trust. And uh, yeah, so doing what they tell you to do. Take your meds when they tell you to take them, as many as they tell you to take. Um, do the exercises or, you know, eat the things they tell you to eat and stuff like that. Even if you don't like it, get fucking used to, get to like it. Find ways to eat what they're telling you to eat. In, in, do you know what I mean? Like, it is so worth it. And if it, if you really do struggle with it, tell them. Tell the specialist, like, this particular one is what I'm really struggling with. Do you have any advice for, for preparing it differently? Or, you know, can you refer me to a nutritionist or a dietitian or whatever the appropriate word is in your area? I know different places use different words differently. Um, <clears throat> to, like... 
because you know if you need to eat this stuff a dietitian or a nutritionist is going to have a million and one different ways to prepare it for every client they've ever had and it can be very like it helped me a lot um, but yeah like like that's the whole the, the big thing for me was if I do everything they tell me and it doesn't work then that's not I, at least I've done my part and then when they realize that it's not working they they will look at different things for me to do and then I'll do all of those as well but yeah it's uh it's a it's a um, it's an adjustment new type of life but new isn't always bad especially if it helps you live more like comfortably <clears throat> Obviously, if something doesn't feel right, second opinions are okay. Keeping that in mind, obviously. But if what they're saying makes sense and you trust you trust them, then yeah, do the thing. Uh, all right, there's the emote only. Wonderful. In my case, doctors just don't know what's wrong even after 10 years. Got marked with chronic pain syndrome and that was it, yeah. Yeah, there's like... Medicine is only as good as the practitioners, unfortunately. Um, and there are a lot of things out there we just don't understand still. Um, one of the things that I've been doing is like, I'm on a bunch of, um, I'm on a bunch of like mailing lists for study hospitals and universities and things like that. And so, and I like, I did a little questionnaire about my health and, and what I've got and all this kind of stuff. And any time that they have a study that would be applicable to me, that I would be eligible to participate in, um, they shoot me an email and I partake. Um, if, as long as I can, of course. Uh, but yeah, so that way, if there are people who have something similar to what I have and they can't figure it out, perhaps my data and the results of this study will help the doctors help those people faster in future. Because it took a while, it took about six months for me to get like a proper diagnosis. And we went through a few diagnoses before that. And I would try the medication for that diagnosis and it didn't work. And so they go, okay, well, obviously it's not that then, let's try something different. Um, so yeah, it just kind of, yeah. And there were a bunch of like, one of the meds I had to try, I was like massively allergic to. Uh, and like, it was just great fun. So yeah, it's uh, it can definitely be a struggle. I 100% acknowledge that, but there is an end. Sometimes it, it sometimes the end isn't what you expect. The, like sometimes it's not a definitive label and a singular treatment that will work for you. Um, sometimes it's a little less clear than that, a little muddier. But um, you know, every step closer. I got diagnosed with OCD. I was 24. I took therapy and time to manage. The start did struggle. Now I'm on antidepressants. Fantastic. I'm glad it works for you. That's really good. How was the timing? Not sure if I'd be more available. Sure thing. I'll give a look at later. Good job. Whatever. Sound not, not a problem at all. Dark. Enjoy. We'll see you next time. Good luck. Friend. Now I'm managing it. That's fantastic news. Like the liver trick, mincing it. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Like yeah. Taking a taking like liver. Because the, the texture and the taste of liver is really quite interesting. But if you can't handle it, if you like mush it up, chop it real fine, or like put it in a food processor or whatever and chop it up till it's about the size of mincemeat. And then, you know, if you make a meal that usually has mincemeat in it and then substitute a good chunk of the mincemeat for your, not pureed, like not totally like down to a spread consistency, but like to with your with your finely chopped liver and just cook it all in together you'll like there's still occasionally you'll get a bit that's a little bit different texture and uh, a little maybe a little bit different taste but most like for most of it it all just kind of mixes in together and uh there you go it's pretty good i don't mind it at all 100 i've been listening to doctors yes yeah, so when we're going to suit diet for more than a month yeah yeah, I do not envy that. Um, although I'll be back on that again next month, so do not you worry. Can I do anything for you? 
back there with you. Ooh, yay for Poen. He dinged. He dinged. Alright, here we go. Back to base. Actually, I can just. Oh. Still makes me squirm. Ooh, yay, primal egg. Well done. Danny is great. <laughs> I love that, Alex. It's adorable. Uh, have you got the Golden Phoenix mount from Outland? Golden Phoenix mount. Are you talking about Ashes of Allah? One that's pink and orange and yellow. Oh, uh, that's the only Golden Phoenix from Outland I can imagine. Like, I can... I just wanted to make sure that's what you're actually talking about. That's the one? Yes, I do. It's my favourite man in the game. My my absolute favouritist. And uh, it was the very first one that I ever concertedly farmed, like actually tried to get. Um, so yeah. Ugh. I has that one. How many different mounts and pets do you have? Uh, I have 641 account mounts. And I have pets. Where's pets? 1,279 unique pets. You need me, you know where to find me. <laughs> okay, unshackled, I'm nowhere even close to a new... What's it? God, you don't get much fucking rep from unshackled, do you? Ugh. Gross. Alright, I'm gonna head to Tolgrod. Uh, same, but I don't have it. Ah, oh, you can get it! Easy, easy! That's just my favourite map. I was lucky enough to get it during Guild Run. Oh, amazing! Amazing, nice, thank you. Been playing since day one. Ah, uh, you can get it, you just gotta put in the effort. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Amazing. Little, Zam, Kung Fu, Seeker, Zombie, Boy, Spam, and Bjorn. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. We go to the next one. Berserker. Berserker! Yay! So I'm just grabbing my Tolbarad dailies. What do you need? And off we head. Just take that off. Brilliant. Oh, it's Horde Control too. Fantastic, which means I get the second batch of dailies as well. Amazing! I can't believe it's already 11.21. Looks like I've got enough to keep me going, hey? I was a little bit nervous, like, what if I run out of shit to do? But I think I'm, uh, I think I'm doing okay. Fourteen twenty-one. Much more comfortable time for you, I think, Exo. I am I'm wondering if I'm gonna end up regretting this tomorrow. <laughs> Rather, I'm wondering how much I'm gonna regret this tomorrow. 
12, 21. Yeah, I am kind of glad it's not two till five. Like, I'm glad that it's one till four and not two till five. It's the little things, you know? I can I can be glad for the little things. 12, 21 here, damn you. Oh, I've got a bit of caffeine, caffeine to, to keep me going tomorrow. Waters of Coke, so that'll be nice. I actually don't think... I think, like, knock on wood, but I'm going okay. Which is un... Like, I honestly thought I'd be dying, because usually I'm really, like, zonked by this time of night. But I think the possibility of having the mount drop, like, the, the, the low bubbling level of adrenaline is just kind of keeping me open. Like, I'm not hyper, I'm not hyperactive, but I'm not fucked either, you know? Excuse me. But I think once the once the runs are done, if it doesn't drop, it's just, that's gonna be, I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna just completely collapse. Um, but if it drops, Fuck sleep. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to sleep. If it drops, the adrenaline spike that I will get will mean that that's sleep written off for the night. <laughs> but we'll see. Our only time will tell. Hope that you'll uh, you'll stick with me. And hey, if, this is a really good time to prep. If you are planning on doing those last handful of runs as well, and you'd like to join me, because I do have 50 characters to run, 30 horde. <gasps> Luz. Hello! Hello, hello! How was your stream? How are you? What is happening, my dear? Welcome on in, and hello, Raiders. If you haven't been here before, I'm Fia. It is lovely to meet you. I am an idiot who streams World of Warcraft until four in the morning today. <laughs> Hopefully not four. I'm hoping that that's not how long we're gonna have to go. But um, in, in about an hour and a half, Day 15 of Lovers in the Air will be kicking off, and it's the final day. It only lasts three hours, 1 a.m. till 4 a.m. my time, like local time in Brisbane. And it's my last chance of the year to get the Heartbreaker, the X45 Heartbreaker mount. And I want it. So we're going to try. We're going to do everything that we can in our power to allow RNG Jesus to grant us the magic thing. Um, so that's what we're doing, because I am an umpty. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, evening, whatever the fuck time it is. Um, are you party time if it drops? Absolutely. What time, what mount are we talking about? The X45 Heartbreaker, the Lovers in the Air mount. It's a 1 in 3,333 chance to drop. And it is only available for two weeks out of the whole bloody year. Party time of drops. Yep. Indubitably. Hello, Mimic. Welcome on in. We still got it on AU servers. Yep. North America and Oceanic. Um, uh, the, the event's still going. So in for EU, the event starts early, and so it also finishes early. Uh, earlier. Not not. It's it's technically not early. It starts at the appropriate time, but it is it's earlier than um for the North American and Oceanic servers. Um, generic Loza Raid, hello Sharks, how you going? Um, hey, it's us, yay for Fia all day, look. Yay for you guys at least, I'm, look, actually, I'm not doing as badly as I thought I would be. I thought I was going to be dead by now, but I'm actually going okay, knock on wood. Uh, but ask me again in a few hours. Hmm. I'm really hoping that, like, first run at 1am, it just drops and then I can go to bed, but we'll see, we'll see. I, I'm, like, the numbers, the math is against me. The math says I will go until 4 a.m. Um, and I will hopefully get all all my attempts done, which will put me at 1,600. 1,600 total attempts for, for, like, forever. 750 for this, for this, um, uh, year. But, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, hello, Laza. Grims, welcome on in. Brisbane represent indeed. The EU is gone indeed, yes. But yeah, you guys started early as well. So it's, uh, you still get it for the same number of hours. 
Ah, uh, Bris Vegas, indeed, Patchy. Hello. Ben, that is so nice to be able to return the amazing favor and rage. Of course. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see who's able to, like, moral support all the way through. I was until 5 a.m. Gave up after attempt 35. Uh, I was going to get up and finish the rest, but overslept. Yeah. Yep. I know the feeling. So love and leave. It's so tight. Not a worry at all, Loz. Go get some rest. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Do I run heroic for ashes? There weren't difficulties back then, I don't think. It's just one difficulty. It's just the eye. Tempest keep the eye. Um, events begin and end at 10 a.m. for you. Yeah. Fingers crossed for you. Thank you, Loz. Much appreciated. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how we go. It will be all bloody over socials, you bet your ass, if uh, if it drops. So you'll, I uh, no doubt you'll see tomorrow. What the hell is, can we just like get out of the water, please? I do have the, um, I do have, does the mount stuff not work on this tune? Like the mount, what's it? Guess not. Didn't it work on the way out there? Oh, I don't bloody know. Anyway. Um, yeah, I don't think it matters for TK, I think, because it's just, I'm pretty sure it's just one difficulty. Um, they didn't have different difficulties back in BC. Uh, except for... Dungeons, maybe? I don't remember. Let me have a look. <clears throat> The eye. Yeah, no, no difficulties. It just is. Allah, Void Reaver. I'm really glad I don't have anything left to get from Senor Fuckface. Um, because it's like the, ah, uh, the, just the, um, the RP on KT is just redonkulous. It was the worst part of farming for that mount. It's just all the RP. But because I farmed for him, you know, 97 attempts or whatever it was across a bunch of different tunes, um, I'm pretty sure across everything I might not even I might not have any transmog left to get from just here. I still have to kill the other ones, but that's easy enough, you know. Knock out the others and then not have to do KT. But remember, you don't have to kill Alar. You can just run straight past Alar into KT's room. Um, you don't have to kill any of the other bosses. You can go straight to KT. Very convenient. Ah, uh, laughing my shots on DFA, very clear moment. I deleted my pally, then restored my, like, j jump, and then, yep. Yeah. Great. That's wonderful. Love that. It's hilarious. Ah, uh, I know I'm going to activate all my accounts. See why I was broken. Had a lot to do. Ah, bit away from the game. Should Shadowlands start? Totally fair. Totally fair. Siege engine scraps. This music is a whole mood. Two more pets. Hey, Seeker, well done. Fantastic news. Doubles, they just look similar. Yeah, a lot of them look very similar. Little tiny baby icons of dinos. Yeah! Thank god for ATT indeed. Up we go to free some tortured souls. The drop or meeting will start soon. Not a worry, Alex. Not a worry at all. Uh, meeting will start soon. I uh, will see you next time.
Have a fantastic day. And um, we'll see you next time. Collection is slow. There's a bunch of people running the area. Most reliance. Yeah, that'll happen. Maybe being this time not watching Kune. Oh, nutty. Oh dear. Uh, all right, off we go. Back to the place. Stuff. Turn all these in, and then we'll head across the bridge to uh, get us some more stuff. Lokar. Strength and honor. McGraw. Blood and thunder. Over the bridge, and we get us a handful more commendations. We've got 118 at the moment. I think it costs 175 for the mount. So we're getting there. Slowly but surely, whittling our way toward the purchase. Wait, no. Fuck. I've been running too much Barrett and Hold. Oh, fuck. Although, I could run Barrett and Hold after this. No doubt I've got a few things to cross off even on fear. I do. I do. Until next leader runs. About an hour and a half, just under. Speaking hour and 25 minutes. It's not news here, but that's okay. Blood and thunder. Yeah, I keep thinking the wrong NPC is up, but that's okay. Set these. Uh, keep going. Oh, not long. No, not long at all. Not long. Uh, luckily, Horde has Tolbarad, so I'm jumping through here and just gonna do a bit more of the uh, old dailies. Get some more Tolbarad commendations. shall not be doing any island expeditions. <laughs>
Is this place don't recognize it? This is Tobrad. This is a, the place that's actually like the PvP area. Uh, where you end up getting barred and hold if your faction controls the zone. Yeah. these Some up top. Okay. Perfect. Would you rather tea or cola? Probably tea because. Like, that's probably a better match for my health goals at the moment than Cola is. But I did not prepare ahead and make tea that would be cold, because at the moment I think warm tea would put me to sleep. So in terms of my current circumstance, I'd have to go with Cola. But overall, I would prefer tea, um, because, yeah, health goals. How about you, Seeker? What would you prefer, tea or Cola? Twenty-four Tolbarad commendations. How many do I actually need? One sixty-five. Okay, so it's not one seventy-five. I'm getting really close. One twenty-four is awfully close. My goodness. So what we got? We got an hour and eighteen minutes. Ooh, I, mm, I had attempted to run a couple dungeons for transmog. On fear, like, on, oh god, Tumis Argeris is my lowest percentage. Well then, um... Hmm... Oh, 
Go ahead and prepare to your head and have pomegranate in the fridge. Oh, yum. Well done. Well done. Do it. Get the transmogs. I can. I reckon I can do that. Oh, I reckon I can do that. Hey Siri, set an alarm for 12.50 a.m. Thank you. So I don't fucking miss it. That way I can start, like once it goes off, I can start wrapping up. I need to run toss LFR my pally for the back. Yeah, Tumis Argeris is like my lowest percentage at the moment and I really don't want to run it. Um, but maybe I should. Mythic. It's mi it's mythic holding me back, I think. I can't solo mythic. But look at- look! Looking for raid is almost done. Fucking zone drops. Half a million. Piss off. And then Sisters of the Moon is the only last thing at nut. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is do wad. Because there are so many, like... Like the common dungeon drops. Like, so many common dungeon drops, so I feel like I can work my way through some of those. My lowest percentage dungeon from Wad is Shadowmoon Burial Ground, so I think that's where we're gonna go. And then when it hits 12.50, I can half back and I can turn off the add-ons and I can, like, prepare our butts for, uh, for the runnering. Um. Do I want to make this a Shadow Moon Burial Grounds Ludopraiser challenge? So can I accept friends? Let me try. I can. Wonderful. Done. I always I'm always unsure of like whether I'm at cap or not. <laughs> I have been doing some clearing out though, so there's that. No, I don't want Legion, I wanted Ward. I'm gonna do Shadow Moon Burial Grounds. And then I also have the common dungeon drops, for which there are uh, many. Many, 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 many. I can hide Titan Forge shit. God, there's so many rogue. Right? And then Mythic is one. Well. God. Oh, and time walking. Oh, God, I forgot about time walking. Um, so I can run it once on Mythic and then once on. Heroic, and then I can farm it on normal if I still have time. <laughs> but yeah, Tumis Argeris, like LFR, I've got next to nothing left. It's mythic, I'm 60% mythic completion, but I have to do that in a group. And what we've done in the past is done like me on my mage as cloth, and then brought along a leather, a plate, and a mail wearer so that we can like ch chop and trade things. <laughs> Welcome to all the new viewers. If you have an Instagram account and like wow slash streamer content, follow Fear. I would love that. Particularly on Instagram, because it's what I'm trying to my, my next goal for content creation is to become full-time. Like, like the, the big overarching goal. And to do that, I need to grow my Instagram following. So that would be like super freaking awesome. Um if you wouldn't mind, if you're feeling generous. Cost you nothing makes a huge difference to her as a streamer with her viewer reach engagement. It does. That's a great way to help support. Did I hear a lack? We can definitely do a lack if you'd like, yeah. Um, I hate that there's no, like, is there a slash command? I feel like there should be. Or maybe it's a, a mini map button that I don't have. Okay, it's gonna be Shadow Moon Burial Grounds. 
And we're gonna be going for no longer than one hour. So let's pop in 60 minutes. Oh fuck, I forgot that I have to. There you go. And we'll start it super, super, super soon. Um, some sauce. Do you get that ready, check Sam? Perfect. All right, I'm gonna switch to Dungeon Mythic. Whenever you get here, no, no big deal. Um, God, I hate these windows. Uh, okay, cool. So I'm on Mythic. Let's, uh, so many windows. Let's just let's scoot on in and see how we go. Fucking Zam on top. Good Lord. Uh, my box is broken again. Oh my God. Already there and in. Oh, fantastic. There you go. Look at you go. No, I don't want achievement tracking. I just want loot. <laughs> Luckily, there's no zone drops. It's just bosses. I'm gonna skip all the- although, greens, so I need to kill everything. Okay, good. So many windows. Bag's empty. No, not even close. <laughs> I'm very good at this. Luckily, I'm really close to the entrance, so I should probably be able to go do that. Fun, happy times. Let me confer with my sources. Hmm. No. Sophia's bags are not empty. Never. Never. Zam's gonna win by default. Well done to Spam, Kludgy, Faden, Kung Fu, Durin, Zam, Bjorn, and Z on all your bonus shit. Towards the skin chest. Let us go. So much shit in my bags. So much shit in my my bags. Uh, all right. What am I doing? Berserkers? No. Flag bearer. Yes. Look, they're a little tidier now.
Not by much, but a little bit. Okay, there we go. As empty as they're gonna be. <laughs> Onward! Simply we're able to do this cross region. How awesome is it, Zam? How awesome is it? And you're well ahead of me. A hundred gold ahead of me. How dare. Gotta catch up now. This is crossword network thing. Like you can just get their language interact. I wonder what it should be called. <laughs> I know, right? But no, because when they first made it so that you could have cross region friends on your battle net list, the the add on still didn't let you do lax cross region. Um, so there, there was like a secondary update. Uh, like another, like a, an update later to let you do it. I think they had to fiddle around with some of the code, but yeah. It's pretty freaking awesome. Oh, excuse me. This place, outsider. It will be your final resting place. Updates can be cool. They can. They absolutely can be. So I don't have so much that I can get from that. Shine in the dark. I get nothing still. Good lord. Give me your strength. She must have such a huge drop, like loot table. Good lord. Nerzur will not. He hears only darkness now. Your blissful afterlife is over. Yes, come closer. No so lie. Strong it's a shared proud. appearance. I will feast on your terror. Hey, there we go. It's a prince I've already got as well, so we can sell it. Woo! Okay, I'm done. Now what? <laughs> Go out and do it again. And keep running it until until time's up. Do it on mythic, do it on heroic, and then run and reset on normal. Boogie down. Get everyone else around without seeing anyone. Ah, fantastic. Wonderful new seeker. a fun fight. To, like stand in the sticky stuff and stuff and things, you know? It's nice. crossed off an item. Fantastic. It's now 20 out of 24 instead of 17. Amazing. 
portal to Shadow Moon Valley. We're going to close off Mythic and we're going to open up Heroic. Common Dungeons 2 is still 207 out of 240. Uh, okay, so dungeon difficulty heroic. And then we go again. Ah! Sam got another drop. These are all the common dungeon drops on this list now. An eternity in darkness cannot escape. Oh, I got an auction connecting valve. Sweet. Those still tend to sell for people trying to set up their garrisons. Apparently that one goes for 10k. I don't think that's true. I think it probably goes for close to the 3k that it's uh that's right though. Tempted to fly the heartbreaker around Zem. Oh dear. The dead shall rise again. <clears throat> Nothing new. Nerzul will not hear us. He hears only darkness now. Your undying souls will fuel my ascension from the darkness. You are just maggots swarming to the corpse of a dying god. Amy is so tired but so invested. It's almost like there's just a mild amount of adrenaline bubbling just under the surface, right, Seeker? I mean, that's what I'm kind of feeling at the moment. I'm tired. I, I'm, I'm quite tired. But at the same time, I'm kind of like... It's just past midnight here. We've got just under one hour to go before the final round of attempts kick off. I really hope it doesn't go all 50. I really hope it drops. But, I mean, we'll see. Yeah, drop more than that. Okay, no, oh, goodbye. Mm, do you play around that, Breaker? You got it? Look, maybe. The numbers, like, the math is still against me in terms of, like, likelihood of getting it. It's still a no. Um, but, stranger things have happened. Gotta kinda hope for the best. And if I don't do them, if I don't do the runs, they aren't can't drop, so. Let's see how we go. always think it would have dropped if you didn't do it exactly and if I get 49 out of the 50 attempts done in the three hours 
I'm going to feel like that 50th one was going to be it. Do you know what I mean? So I'm I'm really hoping I can get them all done. I'm going to I'm going to feel sick to my stomach if the queue times go too long and I can't get them all done. I don't know if you think Arcane Blast for speedrunning old content. Because uh, I'm not Arcane. Um, I mean, it. I I can, but this stuff is so low level that one single Arcane Blast kills everything anyway. I'm just using my Fire Blast for stuff that's like out of range, just to be like, donk. You don't, I don't need to build up the power because everything gets one shot anyway. Oh, that was actually a new thing. Hey, fantastic. At least one thing. Brilliant. 50% MS. Make you fight. 50% MS. What? I don't need it to be faster though. Like it. If I go much far. Movement speed, it doesn't matter. If I go much faster, I'm gonna hit instance lockout. Like it'll it'll take me less than six minutes to do, and I'll be able to do. Like I'll, I'll have to sit there waiting for the instance lockout time to reset. What's the point? It doesn't. Like it literally makes it less fun. I have to sit around waiting for however, like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> not everything needs to go faster, faster. Um, yeah. Not everything has to go faster. Uh, and I'm actually starting to get a little concerned about that, considering that Heartbreaker runs reset in an hour. I don't want to hit lockouts, but we'll see. I'm sure it'll be okay. Um, all right. Ah, uh, good. I think we're golden. Uh, I really just spam me one dungeon. Yep. Yep. Trying to knock off Transmog. Um. Also doing a lack of funsies. Ah, uh, sure. Just I'm after four to three to five runs, I give up. Yeah, persistence is key. Um. Yeah, when I was doing back when I was doing my Rivendell's Death Charger runs. Uh, the runs took about five minutes each. So at the end of it, I had to sit there, waiting for it to- so in, I'd end up doing stuff that would make it take just a little bit longer. I'd get a little bit extra loot, a chance for more greens that could sell for a reasonable amount on the auction house and stuff, just to make it take 6 minutes and 10 seconds per run, so that I never had to wait for a lockout to expire. Uh, I could just go straight in again, like run out, reset, go in, run out, reset, go in. I uh, wouldn't have to wait around, because um, waiting around is what kills it for me. If I can run straight back in and keep going, then I will. But if I have to sit around, I lose interest. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Not everything has to go faster. Sometimes you want it to be constant. Because, um, you know, if, if a run takes two minutes a pop, then you got 20 minutes done, and then you got to wait 40 minutes for everything to start unlocking again. And that's just boring as shit. Uh, might not be worth the risk. It might- yeah, look. It's, um... Hey! Oh, awesome. I crossed off a few couple things by the looks of it. Uh, if I want to speed drill, I'd reach instance limit in probably like 30 minutes. Yeah, exactly. And it's just, and then what the fuck do you do for half an hour? That's why I'm glad I've got the Alliance tunes as well, um, like on a different server, because the instance lockout is server-based, not account-based. So I can hop over to them and keep going. But, um, yeah, it's, uh... You are just maggots. Swarm into the corpse of a dying god. Not worth. To avoid lockout by getting distracted? You mean you pulled a Fiyama? Look, you. Little insubordinate shit. <laughs> oh my god. I love that you guys feel comfort, like, feel comfortable enough to rib me and that you're, like, that I'm comfortable enough to rib you right back, you know? It just... It makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. Might do Strathol rating for Heartbreaker runs. Just be careful. Um, like, I mean, with me, I've only got three hours to do 50 runs. So I'm going to be cutting it fine as it is. But depending on how many tunes you have, just make sure that you're not going to lock yourself out and fuck yourself over for the, um, for the Heartbreaker runs. 
Um, you're taking two hours to run Hellfire Ramparts, and yes, I did a fear. <laughs> I've never taken that long to run HFC. No, HFR, sorry, my bad. Hellfire Citadel ended up being a lengthy run, but it's still in like 45 minutes or so. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little bit nervous about running these now because I'm feeling like I'm going to end up locking myself out. Um, but what I might do is just go back and... Because, like, at the moment, what I'm sitting on there... Yeah, I should be okay. I might I might give it a stop here after this run. And then um Maybe we'll play with the engineer toy for for a while. See how far we can get. Just do Strathal when we main tune. Fair. You can just move my character little by little between paragraphs. The safe choice, yeah. You're right. I don't want like this is this is my last chance. I don't want to fuck it up. We'll ripple across it. Okay. Uh, heading back to the garrison. I'm gonna close this off. All of this off. Um. Well, I think I got an extra thing, didn't I? I might see what that said, and then just reset the uh, add-ons as well. So that's 20 or 24 still. Common dungeon drop is 217 of 240. So I made some progress there as well. But 90% of the common dungeon drops, thank fuck. My my greatest fear is that I'm gonna clear all the wad dungeons and still have common dungeon drops left to get. That's gonna suck. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'll log out and I'll fix up the add-ons so that I don't have to worry about anything. Uh, also, when the Stream Raiders battles happen, if there's less than half an hour until the Heartbreaker runs start, I'm not going to start another battle. Uh, so I need GSC, I need Tomcat. Saved instances and rarity. Sweet. So the Lego ring from the warden chest. Need to check if the one I already have. Add to my collection. Yas. Amazing. time. So we were talking about this before, the uncrossing the wires thing, and a few people said that they have tried to get the achievement. I'm not sure if they're still here, but a few people said that they tried to get the achievement, um, but had not been successful. So, I'm gonna teach you how to get it. So this is the Blingtron circuit design tutorial. Uh, it's crafted by engineers, but you don't have to be an engineer to use it or learn it. You can also purchase the toy off the auction house. Uh, and you got to get to level 20. You don't have to clear level 20. You just have to get to level 20. So you need to clear level 19 um, to be able to get to, to get the unlock the achievement. And the idea is that you have to uncross the wires and make them all blue. So none of them can be crossed over. None of them can be touching each other. The first couple are pretty straightforward. But what I usually do is I pick one that's already blue and I build off that. So if this bit's already blue here, then I follow that. This one needs to connect here. And then this one needs to connect there. 
And that same really, really simple strategy can be used all the way through. You just need to pick up on some patterns. So I go with the largest blue chunk. So I go with this one. And then uh, this one needs to go here. And this one needs to go here. The puzzle in Najata, although this was first, correct. This was first, and the puzzles in Najata built off this. Now, when you get to this where you've got multiple connections and you want to uncross them, um, let me... Mm, I can't really move it so that you can see the whole thing, but that's okay. Um, the, the key thing here to recognize is that the corners can only have two connections. The middle has to have four connections, but all the other ones have to have three because they connect to the side, to the middle, and to the side. So this one over here is in a corner, and it's already a corner piece because you've got one, two connections. So I can move one connection there, and I can move the other connection there, and that's, that's your corner. So both of these will be threes. So I can move this one goes all the way down to here, and that's a two, so I'll put that in the corner. And then this one here is going to be the middle piece. And then follow that the way through to here, that the way through to there, and there you go. Grid complete. <clears throat> uh, this one's two different bits, but it's exactly the same kind of thing. These two here, like this one here, so that we follow that one, goes out to here, follow this one to here, and follow this one out to here, and then we do the same with the inside piece. And there's your two concentrics, was a new one. Nine Legion Legos. Ah, oh, fantastic! Well done. Well done. Uh, this is a really straightforward one, just a single ring. So I just follow them around and keep making that blue section larger until eventually it's all blue. Should be another grid. Oh no. Uh, Alright, so this one, you've got a, a larger outside one that has eight connections and then a smaller inner ring that has four. You can technically build it in two lumpy bits, but I like to have them concentric because it just looks pretty. Uh, so there we go. There. 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 And bam! The dirt is gone. I wonder how high we can get it. Uh, so this one is a square outside connecting to a triangle inside. So because there's three in the middle and four on the outside, one of the outside ones won't connect to a middle one. So one of the outside ones will be a two, which is this one here. So that's a two connect, which means that both of the ones it connects to will be on the outside. And then my next step would have been to see which of the remaining ones connects to both of those outside, but it's already on the outside, so I can't really demonstrate it. So name of this toy, the Blingtron Circuit Design Tutorial. It can be purchased on the auction house. Another easy, just a big loop. So we just keep following that red line, clicking it and dragging it next to it, making that blue section longer and longer until it reaches all the way around the circle. Ta -da. Etoy. <laughs> okay, so now you've got, you've still got the four twos, you've also got eight threes, and then four fours in the middle. So I always try to see if I can start with a corner, because it, I find it easier to build from there. Uh, not everyone will, you all have your, you know, your own preferred starting spots, but I, I find it easier to start from a corner. Fewer options to fiddle with. So if you were stuck on stream readers, that it was me. Oh no, Seeker! You had not alt tabbed. That's kind of funny. Not gonna lie. Alright. <laughs> 
This one is a little trickier because the outside has four and the inside has four, so you can't really see which one's meant to be inside and which one's meant to be outside. But if you just kind of stick these two are on, this, there's a blue there. There's a blue connection. So if I go out to here and then I see, is there anything that connects to both of these two outside ones? And if I follow this cable here, it also connects to this one. So I'm going to assume that that makes our outside box. And then fix the middle. I'm tired. Oh, you and me both. Oh, posture check. Good lord. Ah, <sighs> fine. Oh, there's our two. Super easy. Okay, so I reckon this one follows through to here. So if I move that there, and then this one connects to both of these, so then I've got my outside five. When it comes to these ones, you just kind of have to fiddle around with them until you find which set sits on the outside. Let me just go back to a really super simple circle again. What level are we on? Fourteen. This is level fourteen. So we're still doing pretty damn easily. I haven't really gotten to any of the complicated ones yet. They do, of course, start getting complicated. A couple of levels after this one, I think. But it's still the same, still the exact same um, method you use to kind of sort them out. Got to posture your check. Look, look you. Oh, another grid. Easy peasy. Find your two. There's a two. And if, if it, like, if the line had gone through the middle here and you can't quite see which node it connects to, just play around with it. Move a couple. If that one doesn't make it go blue, then move another one, move another one, move another one until you find one that makes it. And see, so that's in the corner there. You can't see. This one is sitting over in the corner here because it connects to this one, but it's quite clearly got another three sets of four, which means it has to go in the middle. Um, and then we can move back to here and we have this connection instead, maybe. Nope, that's broken a whole lot of other ones. So I reckon it's probably gonna be this one. Uh, nope, that's still... So this one here, if I follow that all the way up, that's still a four. And I've just realized that this one itself is a four, so that's gotta be in the middle. There you go, there's the three, and then there's... Th okay, cool, awesome. Once you recognize, like, that's not fitting, uh, and for good reason, It'll make more sense. And there you go, there you go, that whole lower level is all blue and pretty. So move across to here. And I just like to build it up, like layer by layer. Sometimes I'll go all the way there on the outside and then fix the middle, but sometimes I like to go through each. Uh, just stack them layer by layer. It really depends on what I'm in the mood for on the at the time. It doesn't matter, either way is valid. As long as you get to all blue and pretty, then you're good. Do we want to get a five-man group inside Crown Chemical Co. instance to kill it as soon as daily resets? No. Because you have to queue for it when the box is available. We can get a five-man group together so that we can queue as soon as a daily reset. Um, but no, you don't want to get inside until it's... um. Excuse me. <laughs> Until the dailies have reset. Good question, though. Big messy grid. This one looks kind of scary. I want to show you. Ugh. 
the lights. You're gonna go away after today. Go back in your box. I finally the um the heart that didn't the heart that kept falling off. I went and got um I got uh super glue from the shop and uh, and super glued it in. I'm glad it didn't like fuck the light up, and melt the light. Because I know super glue can like melt plastic sometimes, and that's how it bonds it. But um, yeah, and this one never had this one never had a heart on it. Just kind of said came without one, but that's okay. Got the little hearts. So cute. Much appreciates to meaty for those. They've served us well, haven't you? You have. When that alarm goes off at 10 to 1, might I recommend everyone goes and takes their bathroom breaks and everything. Uh, pretty reminder of the match you got this season. Exactly. Traum, Bjorn, Kludgy, Kung Fu, Faden, Sleeper, Apro, and Spam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, we're going to do one more battle for the night. And that's going to end just before uh, the Heartbreaker runs kick off again. And I will not be doing more Stream Raiders battles while that final run is going because uh, there's a chance that I won't make it in time and I don't want anything to hold us back from getting those 50 attempts done. <sighs> Including faffing about with um, with Stream Raiders battles. So would, this is the last battle for the night. And here is our mess of a, uh, of a thing. So I'm just going to follow these wires through. Now I know it's not this one because the wobbly is going all the way from like the top to the bottom of the node. So I'm going to keep following it to the next one along. Pop it there. And then this one hits there. That one's gonna go there, I think. Yeah, and then follow it through again to this one. That's gonna connect there. Switch these two over. That can come down to here, and this one can come down to here. Beautiful, wonderful layer. That one. It's this one. Okay, I'm starting to get woozy now. The, the sleepy is starting to hit me. I feel like if I have that bottle of coke now, though, I'm absolutely not even gonna like start to sleep. No chance. Uh, we were, we were doing a couple of runs, and then I realized that I could accidentally lock myself out, and I'd fuck myself completely for the rest of the runs, and I don't want to do that. So no, I'll stop doing those. No second primal egg drop, but can't pick up. Yeah, one in a bag at a time. Indeed, Coke time. Time for some tea. Tea time. I don't have any tea. I don't have any iced tea. And warm tea will make me fall asleep. Um, yeah, it's less about the uptime and more that it's half past midnight. <laughs> I think I might have to grab the bottle of Coke. All right, I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna grab a bottle of Coke. Oh. There's the button. Run away, little girl. Run away.
and turn the aircon on too. Double down. It was okay. Fantasy keep me awake. Fantastic. I have my Coca Cola. Scan to win lucky breaks. What am I winning? E vouchers, merchandise, and holidays. Holiday sounds bloody nice at the moment, let me tell you. Why is the QR code not scanning? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thousands of instant win prizes each week. Up to 4 million in prizes to be won instantly. Plus, go in the prize draw for a chance to win free DoorDash for a year. Where to find code? Drink and look inside for your code. Leave label on bottle for 10 cent refund. Okay, so I have to drink it. Which makes sense. What is that? The Saturday stream, Magic Planner, watching that in full. Fantastic. So this is where we start getting complicated. We've got three concentric layers and they're all connected to each other. Whoa. Yep. <clears throat> That burn. That's exactly what I needed. <laughs> Alrighty. So your outside ring is the only one that's going to have twos in it. So we have that two already in the outside. So I'm going to start building from there. From here, one is going to connect to the inner ring and one's going to keep connecting to the outer ring. Fours cannot go on the outside ring. They can only go on the inner rings. So let's move this over here and then keep following that around and see what we can find. Okay, that's a four, so that has to go on the inside. What about this one? Also a four, so that also has to go on the inside, which means this one can't be on the outside. So that has to be there instead. So this is a four two. So we'll follow this through here and then we find our two. So the two can connect here, which connects to a three. That's a four and that's a four. So this three has to be on the inside. That three can be on the outside, connected to a two, which connects to a three, which connects to our three, and there you go, our outer ring is complete. Uh, then you can start fiddling with the inner ring. So this one already connects here, to here, to here, that's a two, to here, to here, fantastic. This one is the only one that needs a connection. Okay, sometimes it bugs out and you have a crisscross that turns blue. Ignore that, it doesn't usually happen. So this is level 19. Clear this one, and you get your achievement. <laughs> is it burning away, Sophia? Yeah. Of course it is. It's it's the burn down the throat. It kind of just oh, invigorates you, you know? Fight so much with this one. It's the same rules as always. Only two, like twos can only go on the outside. Twos and threes. Then threes and fours, threes and fours, threes and fours. Twos have to go on the outside, the very, very outside. So that's where we start. This is a two. It's on the outside. <laughs> Pop that there. Follow this one through to here. And that two is happy. This is a three. Uh, it connects through to here. That's a three. Follow your wibbly wobbly line. And, tr and if it doesn't go to outside, then keep following it further. That's also a three, so that should be okay. That connects to a three. That connects to a four, so that four has to go on the inside. And that also connects to a four. And that four also has to go on the inside, but that means that that three has to go on the inside as well. Because if it doesn't have another two or a three to connect to, it can't go on the outside. So we'll follow that through to here and find our two. <laughs> so we'll follow that wobbly bit through. Well, that could be it. It's not. Let's keep going. This one, maybe? Yes, cool. So that followed through to there. Uh, that's a four, so that has to go on the inside. So we'll follow this all the way through to the three on the other end. There we go. Follow that to a three. That's a three. That's a four. 
That's also a four, so this is the wrong three to be on the outside. So we'll follow this through to here. There you go. There's your two. <laughs> follow that through to your three. <clears throat> That's a four, so this is the three that has to go out here. That's a three. That's a three. That's a four, so that has to go on the inside. That's also a four, which means that this three has to go on the inside. All of this through to here, and you find your two. Every time you find a, a three that's connected to double fours, you're going to be replacing it with a two. But the twos can be really hard to find when they're in the clusterfuck in the middle. So, yeah, just keep following those cables and, and hope that, like, you know, you'll get there eventually. So there you go, that two's happy. And that's connected to the four in the middle, so that's happy as well. And there we go. Outside rings completed. All the way around. This is the part that I find really, really easy, is just following these cables and pulling it to next to it. Find the cable, pull it to next to it. Skip that one because it doesn't have an inside. Follow that cable, pull it to next to it. Follow that cable, pull it to next to it. It's connected, that's connected, this one isn't, so follow the cable, pull it to next to it. Follow the cable, pull it to next to it. Skip this one because it's a two. Follow the cable, pull it to next to it. Follow the cable, pull it to next to it. And there's your second ring done. Outside ring's always the hardest. Once you've got the outside ring sorted, the rest of it just falls the fuck into place. So we'll follow this cable, pop it right next to it. This one doesn't have a connection to the inner ring, so we ignore it. Next one along, connect those two there. Next one along. Next one along, next one along, skip it because there's no connection, next one, next one, no connection, next one, and then fix the innermost, and you're done. Level 19 complete, and that's your achievement. You don't have to go any further than this, that's your, thank fuck, right? That's your achievement done. There is an achievement, yep. What for completing? So now I'm on level 20. So that's where the achievement will pop. Mm. Rest well, Crooked. We'll see you next time. And thank you so much for the well wishes. I appreciate it. Ah. Okay. Now we get into the fun shit. So this one's a two. So follow the wibbly wobblies. It's not that one. Is it this one? No. It's this one. Yeah. And then this one? Yes. Cool. Connects there. And there's a two. Perfection. Oh god, this is a horrible one. Is that one maybe? Yes. Oh, nope, that's a four. The, the lines, the cables are always going to be a straight line. They're never going to bend or curve. They just wobble and it makes it hard to see. But if you follow in a reasonably straight line across, then you're not going to fuck it up. <laughs> <clears throat> and if it doesn't, if you pull it out and the, the red wobbly line you were watching doesn't move, then just keep going on that straight line but further. Super easy. What was that? Oh, my lights are falling around the place. Really around the place. Good lord. Would you? Do you mind? Look, you only have to sit there for another couple of hours, okay? For realsies. Okay. That's a four, so that has to go in. There we go. This is the wrong three. There we go. There's a two.
Oh, cool. Another two. Awesome sauce. There we go. Had a ring complete. Ah, uh, where have I got a section done? Here's a nice one. There we go. Beautiful. That down here. Down here, and that one's done already. Oh, that's the wrong one. So yeah, don't don't pull from what's connected to here, like this one there. Pull from what's connected to the outer ring. Um, like I didn't just do. Because that way you don't get oopsies happening. Level 20 complete. Pretty. Uh, new t-shirt that says I survived later. Wish you could have all your pets out at the same time soaring around you like a bizarre pool. That'd be kind of, that'd be pretty awesome. I survived later and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. What is it over that? Blingtron circuit design tutorial. Exclamation toy should get you the answer. Uh, because Mount Get is hard. Mount Get is hard. This is level 21. This is level 21. So you don't need to, you don't even need to see this to get the achievement. I'm, uh, I'm like the last level was a level that would have triggered it just by getting to it. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> it's fine. The runs are starting soon. Wake up. <laughs> Whew. I've out of this level so fast. Ah, it's just as easy as the rest of them. It just looks scary. Oh, see so you go. There you go. This one. This one right here. That flashing one. That's a two. And it's already on the outside. So we start building from there. Nope, that's a four. Another you just take break. it single connection by single connection. And you get there eventually. Oh, there you go. There's another two. Awesome sauce. Oh, that's the four. Another two. Mostly break time, indeed. My alarm will go off in a few minutes. We'll go take our potty breaks. If you need to, if you want to. I'm not your mother. It's your call. Oh, no, that's a four. Don't want that.
that a four? That is a four. I'm going to be like grabbing this one. There we go. And that's our two as well. That's a four. Uh, Moon said yes, my mouse. I'm going to go to the toilet. Uh, I'm assuming that was fear. Huh? Oh, at fear. Yes. Yeah, because I said I'm not your mother. The only issue with this toy is that when you stop, you lose all your progress. It resets. There's the four, but it's the wrong one. That's a four. So, oof, that's a rough one. Those connections are a bit of a mess. Might go around the other way. Meet it halfway. Nope, that's a four. There it is. Amazing. There's your outer ring. There's your outer ring. And then you build the second ring. find that one. <laughs> Ooh, that's an interesting connection. That's a two. What the shit? Ah, <gasps> oh, I see what's happened. It's saying it's blue, but it's not actually connected here. That's a three. So where's the fuck up? 
One, two, three, four, five, and a two. One, two, three, four, five, and a two. That. Oh no, it is a four. It's just lined up perfectly and looks all fucky. Okay, good. Never mind. There's no fuck up. We're good. It's just that sometimes when the lines just touch, they think they're blue, but they're not. Ah. <laughs> Not snooze, fuck. Okay. Take your bathroom break, folks. This is it. We're gonna get cracking soon. If you are wanting to join me for these last handful of runs, excuse me, exclamation add me in chat. I'm running both Horde and Alliance tunes. Um, 10 Horde, 10 Alliance, 10 Horde, 10 Alliance, 10 Horde. That makes for a total of 30 Horde and 20 Alliance. I want these queues to be as quick as possible because there is a chance I won't be able to get all of them done in the three hours if the queue times are shit. So... <laughs> if you are willing, um, I would absolutely love to have, uh, like, you know, tank and healer cues and stuff like that, but, like, especially for the DPS-only tunes, I will be running through my DPS-only tunes first to try to get those runs, like, out of the way, because I know that the tank and healer cues will be a little more, uh, friendly. So that's how we're going to run it. That's how I have been running it for the last couple weeks. Uh, but yeah, exclamation add me. Let me know if you've added me so that I can jump in and accept the friend request. God, this is just a clusterfuck, isn't it? Let me see if I can sort out some of these um, by pulling them out of the, out of the way. Ooh, that one can go up there. Might just make it a little neater to see some of them. When you pull one out and it goes somewhere completely different, but you can see where it's going, put it there. Might as well. Cross that. Thank you, Kaz. Welcome back, Jack. <laughs> Hello. Oh, third primal egg for you, Seeker. Oh, no. And four of them. Oh, good lord. 
Pinata has popped. 154. How are we going for cool? Battle should be fine. And we won't be doing another battle after this. Nervous now. Hmm. <laughs> Should have a later date. Really wish. Like with the bunch, the bunch of bank. Yeah, absolutely. Like put them in the, uh, put them in the uh, mail. Hello, Z. Welcome back. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna close out of the circuit design tutorial. You can, like, you can see how it goes. That's 21. It's fine. <sighs> Alright. Just waiting for that server message. <laughs> Only a few minutes to go now. Last chance of the year, you know? It just, oh. In previous years, this time of the morning, I've been sitting here in like tracksuit pants with no makeup on and just kind of bashing it out, but um. I feel like there's so much expectation, you know? Come on, stream readers. <laughs> Come on, win faster. Actually, this kind of thing won't be needed. C correct. Hopefully, it drops at some point during these 50 runs. And I can go to bed and cry <laughs> and never have to do it again. Thank you, Jason. Much appreciated. Congratulations to Durin, Zombie, Bjorn, Kung Fu, V, Traum, G Day, and Seeker on your bonus shit. Uh, that's us done for battles for tonight. Thank you very much to everyone who joined us. Um, no more battles for the evening as we are uh, doing some fun things. <laughs> fun. All the panics. Drops the next five. I hope it drops in the first one. Hopefully it drops on fear. Done. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Realm time. It's 1.57 a.m. Mm. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm definitely not panicking. <sighs> Breathe, fear. Dropping a paladin? Look. Well, the paladin will take me, like, quite a few runs to get to, actually. I think it's like 19 or 18 or 19th tune is a pally. Because <clears throat> I run on all the pure DPS tunes first, so that if people are I'm joining me, paladin, uh... if people do want to join me, they're more likely to join in the first handful of runs. So if they're a tank or a healer, that gets me my deep, my pure DPS cues faster. So I don't have like my 47th tune being pure DPS with a seven minute queue. You know, like that's kind of the strategy. Jack brought it up on like day one and I'm like, that's not a bad idea. So I, I uh, decided to readjust my strategy and uh, used it. It'll drop. I can feel it. Uh, all I feel is anxiety. So <laughs> Thank you for the for the um, confidence, Shopper. I greatly appreciate it. I have the, the heartbreaker nails on. They're uh, 
bright pink with the like you know close enough to zebra print. I have my lucky earrings on there. They're shamrocks. And uh, look, we're just we're hoping. Got a healer for you. Thank you very much. Um, I've also got, I believe, Jas might have woken up. He did say he was going to wake up right before so that he could, like, give me tank cues as well. Um, so, like, we might actually be able to pop instant cues. Like, that'd be fucking beautiful. But we'll see how we go. We'll see. Love that. Thank you, Tussie. I love them too. It Like, I was so, so happy with them when I finished them off. I was just like, because I, I had, a, had to kind of really think. Day quests are now reset. That's it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's get cracking. <clears throat> There's a jazz. <laughs> Full group. Let's fuck this up. Wait. Isn't that a full group? There we go. <sighs> you know what I might do? I have a Discord. I might as well use it. <sighs> might as well use it. <sighs> hmm. On my paladin. Yeah, see, there you go. Chaos has the paladin for the good luck. Let's do it. <laughs> A DPS key, look at you go. Oh, you motherfucker. Did you see that? That momentary lockup? I'm like, don't you even fucking think about it. Don't you even dare. One. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, yes, Retail WoW is level 60 cap. Shadowlands, you level from 50 to 60. They did a level squish. Good early morning, Yori. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm full of anxiety. Don't like it. Don't like it. This is quite possibly the most exciting time we've had on stream since last May, when it was Clash of the Creator, like, final day. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let's go. <clears throat> That's two in the group. Three. Four. Let's go. Mm. Oh, Tom! Just too late. Next round. Eg en enigmistic? Enigmistic. I think I got that right. Next round. There are shitloads to go. Trust me. 48 more tunes to go. I'm sure you'll find a group. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get in with this. Ah! Who's Blood Rainer? Is that one of ours? I love that name. That makes me so happy. Hands up if you get the reference. Just Jitsu. Just is awake too. Yep. What are you doing in SFK? Trying to get a fucking mount. <laughs> this is the final three hours of the Lovers in the Air event. Last three hours for the year to get the X45 Heartbreak mount. And I have 50 tunes to get through in three hours. So this is like speed running bullshit. Fuck you. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Counting with fear. Hardcore mode. <laughs> Great fear for fear not. Right, Yori? What the shit is this? This is amazing. Blood Rainer is me. Ah! I love it, Yori. I love the name. That's amazing. Beautiful. 
I will not get that mount this year. I will. I, I refuse to concede. <laughs> Three in the group. Four in the group. Five in the group. Hey! Ah, oh, Yori just missed. What the fuck? We have five people. This is an Insta group. Thank you. The actual Tomcat, Jas. The actual Tomcat. How amazing. We are blessed. A black cat in the group has got to give us a shitload of luck, right? I just woke up. I'm not functioning. I'm not functioning either, and I've been awake for entirely too long. Stop standing in shit. <laughs> so did I. Should nerf the drop to 1 in 500. I don't mind. This is honestly as shit as I feel and as dead as I am and as much coke as I have <laughs> to get through. This, this right here is a lot of fun. Like, this kind of passion and the waiting till 1 a.m. for the reset, they it's it's launch day da, 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 nerves, you know? It's launch day excitement. It's launch day passion and adrenaline. And, and I'm waiting until the dot that it opens and that I can hit the ground running. And yeah, it's exciting. Three! Fuck you. <laughs> so anxious right now. I'm shaking. Yeah, look, um, I'm not doing so well myself, but I have to just, like, let's do it. It's fine. I'll survive. Even then, it's still rare prestige. True, true. But look, I don't, it, it is what it is, and I'll work within the parameters they give me until they decide to change it, in which case I'll work within the new parameters. I want the thing, and so I'll do what it takes. Group is open. Quick join. Two in the group. Remember to tick all your possible roles. Three in the group. Four in the group. So it doesn't fuck us over. <laughs> if we have two people only choosing tank, it won't let us in. Five in the group. Oh, Constantine just missed. Just missed out. Next round. There's plenty to go. Plenty to go. Where is my insta- what is going on? Come on. Mm, I'm gonna do a refresh stream actually. Potentially. You might have a bit of a buffer going on. Drinking coffee on your behalf, sending the energy. Thank you, Nutty. I am like, you know how I was kind of like, I think it's just this little bit of adrenaline bubbling under the surface that's keeping me going. It's now like, let's do the thing. Let's get them out. Let's do the thing. Let's get them out. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just fucked. <laughs> and I feel ridiculous and I don't care. If I get a rocket, then it's all worth it. If I don't, content, <laughs> that's it. That's all I'm thinking right now is like, let's get this shit going. Let's work people up. Let's get people excited. Let's make some fucking content. I feel like half of you don't want it to drop, so we have to do it again next year, though. Not, like, just being honest. <clears throat> you can really tell that we're all in our alts now, because that first round, everything died instantly, and now it's taking, like, half a second longer. <laughs> you can tell we're working our way down the list. Just hope Jas doesn't injury himself rushing in if you get it. I'm sure he won't. He's just woken up. He'll be okay. He'll be okay. No, that is not a possibility. No, it will drop. It will drop. This is it. All of this, all the seven months of leveling. Four. Fuck you. The seven months of leveling, an additional 26 characters to 50. The runs every day, every single, like 18 consecutive stream days. This, this is the moment it has all been working up to. It's gonna drop. It's like the, it's like the climactic moment of the movie, you know? It's, it's a, yes, I am absolutely a main character in my own fucking movie. I'm an ENFJ, look it up. <laughs> group is open. Two in the group, three in the group. Four in the group. Five in the group. Group full. I beg your pardon. Stop doing this and give me my dungeon. <laughs> I'm just going to pally spam run it. Sounds good. Paladins for luck. Full group of pallies plus fear. Is that what we need to make, <laughs> to make this happen? Um, those half need to go naughty corner for a minute. 
look, I mean, I don't blame them. This is hella fucking awesome, co like exciting content, right? Come back on my Alliance tunes, awesome. Sounds good, you do that, Jack. I got the heal cues now, apparently. Give someone else a chance to join group for sure. Got this man, this is, ah, oh, congrats, Kitty. Well done. Huge congratulations. You need five paladins for it to drop. Right, so a full group of pallies plus Fia on a pally. What, like, I will never live it down if that happens, will I? It's gonna be a meme forever. We're gonna have to have it on t-shirts. <clears throat> the best thing is though, I know you guys would buy the fuck out of those t-shirts. And then I could pay for my dentistry. <laughs> it's just, it's getting to the point that I just have to give in to the meme, right? What's this? Four, wait, that's four? Five. Five. Fuck you. It's fine, it's not a paladin, so it's fine. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> All right. Where's the next one? Mage. I'm working through my pure DPS tunes first. That is the strategy, just by the way. Uh, this is what I've been doing since day two of the whole thing. Um, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Group is open. Thank you so much to Tomcat for your incredible add-on that prevents me, two in the group, from at three in the group, from accidentally queuing for Cataclysm Time Walking Dungeons like I did the first day. Oh, shit, we only had three in and we got in. Ooh, just too late. That's all right, we've still got, we've still got another four, four horde tunes after this, then I'll be switching to 10 Alliance. <clears throat> that was a hella quick queue. I think people must have realized it's reset. And so now more people are queuing. Let me know when I have to jump on Bubble Saw. Pally, then of course. Of course. Nobody needs to actually run tank or heal spec on Horde. Queue is everything. Run DPS spec. Yep. Basically. We'll heal and tank. Late night fear stream in this economy. <sighs> the fuck do police tank and healer queues easy? Yeah. <laughs> Like, where did that NPC go? <laughs> it disappeared. Six. Fuck you. Still 24 chances. All my add-ons though, so I load hella slow. What did, got, mm, Yori, get rid of them. Disable them. Trust me. Trust me, it shaves, like, multitudes of seconds off your loads off your load screens. Rarity to track your things, saved instances to track your instances if you've got that many tunes. Tomcat so you don't accidentally queue for the wrong goddamn dungeon. <laughs> and GSE if you run it like I do. Group is open. Except don't disable one. No! Jas is in. Two in the group. <clears throat> Three in the group. Four in the group. Five in the group. You have invited not Zemnest to join your group. <laughs> Bull. Yes, don't disable Tom's add on because God, it's just so useful. No dessert cues, no fucking with your timers. It's great. Like all the tracking stuff aside, just not accidentally queuing for the wrong dungeon makes the entire thing worth it. Like forget all the other features, that is enough to make it like worth its weight in gold. And it doesn't really weigh that much, so more, much more than its weight in gold. At this rate, I'm absolutely gonna hit lockout and I'm so happy about it. I might actually get to go to bed before 4 a.m. Might be able to go to bed at 3.30. Holy cow, can you imagine? Seven! Fuck you. I keep queuing and then I'm like, just freaking stop you numpty and wait for fear. 
I mean, there's that. But you gotta be fucking quick as soon as that quick join opens, because we've got like a ton of people, which is awesome. Like, good lord. To think I was afraid that I wouldn't have anyone being able to help me, and so I'd be stuck in seven minute queues. Look at the I was I was almost like to the point of tears at the start of the stream talking about how group is open. About how the group is open. No, uh, <laughs> about how I'm so grateful. Two in the group, three in the group, to everyone, four in the group, who, like, that's it. That's a full group, I think. Um, like, financially supporting gifts, like, uh, gifts from Throne and subs and, and bits and all this kind of fun and donations and all that kind of stuff, but also people who follow me on the social media and interact with my posts um, and, and find something to say to everything that I tweet or, or post on Insta or whatever. Um, but then also the people who just hang out here, like, and are so generous with your time. All of you are just so unbelievably generous and I don't quite understand what I've done to deserve this, but I am so thankful for it. You guys fucking rock. Like, enough said. You guys fucking rock. And I need to not cry because I won't be able to see where the box is to click it and get my mount. So, so. <laughs> you're about to get it? Fucking oath I am, Josh. Fucking oath I am. Welcome on in, by the way. I hope you're having a wonderful whatever time it is for you. I know I am because I'm full of fucking adrenaline. <laughs> oh, you rock it. Oh, Exo, thank you. Oh, I'm standing in shit. Welcome. Thank you, nurse. What is this? Eight. Fuck you. <laughs> that's gonna be funny, the whole- that's not gonna not be funny at all. Hello, Black. How you going? <sighs> Two more hordies and then I switch to Alliance. For ten. <laughs> it's not even twenty past and we've blasted through eight too. It's taken two minutes a turn. What? <laughs> This is ridiculous! Queue is open! Quick join! Exclamation add me if you're not on my friends list. Two in the group, three in the group, four in the group, five in the group, full. <laughs> what? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> you guys rock. Oh my god, you guys fucking rock. Oh, good lord. These are the quickest runs I've had at all of it. <laughs> Ah, oh, for great thanks. What about you? I am fucking full of adrenaline. So I'm I'm feeling all sorts of silly and excited and just pumped as fuck. Like pumped. Um, like speed round fucking oath, right? High on adrenaline. Oh, so high on adrenaline. Nine. Fuck you. As we start to get, if if we guess, if we start to get close to fifty and it still hasn't dropped, it'll probably start like. But look, we'll see when we get there. Uh, tenth horde toon. After this, I'll be switching to alliance. So those of you who only play alliance and are waiting for those cues. Get your trigger fingers ready. <laughs> Can't even gauge my normal level. I'm teeth clenchingly anxious. You are Jazz. <laughs> Queue is open. Two in the group. Three, four. Rude. <laughs> you you jumped in too early. Ah, you jumped in too early. Totally not noticing the adrenaline. Not at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> you have entered about nine instances recently and are approaching the 10 instance per hour limit for your account. More instances should be available in 44 minutes. Why does entering a dungeon not reset CDs? Because fuck you. Clearly. Uh, adrenaline. Coke. Now I've had, like... Like there's, see how much this, like I've only had like several mouthfuls of coke. This is not coke, this is adrenaline. This is, this is, let's fucking get this shit done in well under three hours. Let's set a fucking record for the fastest 50 runs in the history of Warcraft. 
Like, <laughs> let's do this. Ten. Fuck you. All right, switching to Alliance. Prepare your butts. <clears throat> Blah. Fucking sinuses. Where am I? Mechanica. Let's go. Another warlock. Let's do this. Imagine how fast you would have finished up if we did these. Yeah. Yep. Good lord. Can you imagine if I had had this like the whole? Yep. It's fine. No, it's like honestly. It's been it's been great. There's only been one day. Oh no! Today's first lot of runs we got just over three hours, which was a little bit scary. Group is open. Reminder, this is an alliance group. Group is open. Two in the group. I will let you know verbally. Three in the group. When we switch back, four in the group, back to... Jasrath, did you boost a tune on alliance to do these runs? That's a full group. You fucking did, didn't you, little shit? That better have been a boost you had lying around. I'm gonna hurt you. No? Oh, are you like level 10 or something? He is this level 10, a level 10 tank. This is gonna be great. Um, punt me, Lamau. Yep, that's, <laughs> yeah. Jas's new tune. He specifically made this tune. <gasps> oh, you're locked out. Yeah, it's per server. You numpty. You've got locked out. Well, you have fun with that. Yeah, we'll do. Jas got locked out because he had the best of intentions and messed up. Be back in 20 minutes. Sounds good. Do you want some coke? <clears throat> F indeed. I've only been banging on about it for two bloody weeks. Longer than that, when I was doing all my leveling, people asking why I had them not on one server. That's hilarious. Is my demon tanking? I think it is. But yeah, he has a gnome tank called Pumped Me. Because he's hilarious. Uh, okay, gets mixed with bourbon. Wonderful. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I'm standing in shit. I should get out of that. Uh, I was wondering if he is gonna manage to sleep after this. If I don't get it after 50 runs, I'm gonna collapse in a heap because all the adrenaline will just kind of um, So yeah, I reckon if I don't get it, I'll just, I'll collapse. If I do get it, I'm not gonna sleep. I won't be able to. But we'll see, you'll get a, you'll get a screenshot of my sleep stats in, uh, in the Discord tomorrow. <laughs> and if I don't sleep, it'll be here on my sleep stats. Dot dot. Nothing. Uh, so if I add fear to friends and log into my tune, what do I need to do next? So you add fear to friends, you log into your tune, you wait for, like, you. obviously there's a bit of a delay on stream. So what you do is you open your social panel. Oh. Open your social panel. Oh, can I not? I think I'm full. No. Um, you open your social panel and see the quick join tab? You click that. When I open, when I join the queue, I'll I'll pop up there and you hit like join group. There'll be a button there that you can press uh, and you'll jump into the group if you're one of the first four to push it. Um, the only thing I ask is that when you do join, that you select all available uh, roles, whether or not you think you can do them. 11, fuck you. Uh, that's because it'll make for the fastest queues possible. And that's what we want. We want speed. Yep, that's how you do it. All right, 11 down, 39 to go. That's probably the longest one so far. Uh, should I come in your gnome tank for you? I know, I, uh, yeah, you were telling, you showed us yesterday, you numpty. Uh, so let me put on my punting boots, <laughs> clicked. Awesome, wonderful. Yeah, if you do add me on Battle.net because you want to join in, please let me know because I won't get an alert. I won't get a sound to tell me that I've got a new friend request um, because I've got stuff turned off. So you have to tell me. Two in the group, three in the group, four in the group, five in the group. Done. Ah, oh, Seeker. 
No valid rolls. You'll be removed. Yeah. So check check all your open up your um open up your dungeon finder and tick your rolls. That way, when you join, it'll automatically queue you for everything. Best way to do it. I mean, my new gnome tank. What? You did you just make one on another server? <laughs> Punt me too. Oh, you're a fuckwit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god my baby chains they do so little damn it that's okay totally okay as long as we get it done in the three hours it's totally okay 11 for 37 minutes we're going all right i'm just now an empire hey i'm on my paladin for reference of course you are for luck i presume Because reasons, yep. There's a paladin shirt on my throne that somebody, that Anon, suggested for me. <sighs> Pretty sure it's Arthas. I thought it was Anduin, but they're just so fucking alike, and I think that's probably intentional from a storytelling perspective. Um, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Arthur's. Went back before he became, like, the Lich King. But yeah, shirt with a fucking palette on on the front. What more could I want? Twelve! Fuck you. I don't play watch myself. This is super intriguing. I'll try it. I'm so pleased. I hope that we can provide some some ridiculous entertainment. So this is World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft has uh, world events, they call them. They pop up in the calendar. Some of them happen like once every couple of months. Some of them rotate like on a weekly basis. And some of them happen annually. Uh, for example, this one, it's called Love is in the Air. It's based on Valentine's Day. During Love is in the Air, there's 14, 15 technically. Two in the group, three in the group. Um, there are 15 days um, that you can do Lovers in the Air activities for before the event ends and everything to do with it dis excuse me, disappears. One of the activities you can take part in is this dungeon here. At the end of the dungeon, you get this, a heart-shaped box. If you are level 50 and up, the heart-shaped box is purple quality, which is epic. And that box, the purple box, has a chance to contain a mount. The mount is an enormous pink rocket and it's called the X45 Heartbreaker. The problem is the chance of having the X45 Heartbreaker in that box is 1 in 3,333. And you get one attempt per character per day for the length of the event. I have 50 characters on my account because that is the maximum that you can have on one World of Warcraft account so that I get 50 attempts every day. They add up faster, right? So math tells you you should get them out a little bit faster. You know, luck-based still, but yeah. Um, so if you do every single, if you do the runs on all my tunes every day for the full event, you get 750 attempts out of the 3,333 that it technically could should rather about take you yeah. the problem is that day 15 13 mm, fuck you the problem is that day 15 of the event runs from 1 a.m to 4 a.m three hours that's my time like local time three hours to do 50 runs and that's what we're doing right now. Panic, anxiety, quick, 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 run them really quickly. Yeah, it's just, it's panic. So that's what's going on. That's why we're all pumped and full of fucking adrenaline because we're like, get it, do the thing, go get the thing. <laughs> Two in the group, three in the group, four in the group. Oh, I thought that was another person joining. <laughs> I clicked too high. Anduin is WoW's Kylo Red. Oof. Roughly a 20% chance each year. Yeah. Well, I started on like 19 or 20% or something like that. I'm up at 37.44 now, which is kind of cool. Not to Xamnist. 
<clears throat> it this is this is made more difficult by the fact that on one server you can only enter 10 dungeons every 60 minutes and then it locks you out it says you've entered too many instances recently so that's why I have I've got my characters across two servers so I can do 10 on one server and then switch and do 10 on a different server and then hope by the time I've done that I can start doing them on the first server again but I think we're going so fast that I might outrun the timer, which I'm not angry about. It's just really funny. It's the first time I've managed to do it this whole event. Those are my 15 attempts. Oh, no mount time. That's okay. Next year. Next year. Hopefully I'll get mine and then we can send the hype squad your way next year. 14. Fuck you. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Tom, for joining us. It was great fun having you in group. That's awesome. Like I've never been able to group with you before. This is this is wicked, you know, bringing creators together. If you haven't met Tom, by the way, guys, you absolutely have to follow him. He's he's a black cat who streams. Like, come on, how can you beat that? But also, Tomcat is the author of Tomcat's Tours, which is an add-on in WoW that does a ton of stuff, like so many things, like tracking rares and event things and all sorts of fun stuff. But the most important part for right now, this is Tomcat's Tours. It has one button to join the Crown Chemical Co. Dungeon. You cannot accidentally join for a random heroic or something when you're using Tomcat's button. And that is worth its weight in gold. Because the number of times I've accidentally queued for a heroic dungeon and then had to leave and gotten the 10 minute dessert buff, which has totally screwed all of my timings, this avoiding that is just gold. It's absolutely wonderful. Oh, just missed. Just missed. Cool add-on. It's so it's super awesome. Super, super awesome. It also lets you keep track of like all the different consumables that you've got on each of the tunes and stuff as well. Um, like your, your tokens, your charms, and your bracelets. As well as the level that they are, because of course characters must be 50 to 60 to be eligible for the mount to drop. So it's kind of important to note which tunes are actually eligible to get it. And it gives you, you know, when your next server reset time is when the event ends and how many you've run out of this, like since the last reset, which is fantastic. Yeah, super awesome information all in one little area. Like it's absolutely just, it's so good. So good. What's that? 15. Fuck you. Mm, didn't even turn the screen upside down for him. So rude of us. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have it set up to do that. So <laughs> Hunter. Wow, what a grind. I wish you good luck. Thank you so much, Dryad. Your luck means the world to me. I greatly appreciate it. Hello, Matt. How are you doing? Have you memorized that spiel too? <laughs> the the step the step one one. Here we go. Group open. Two in the group, three in the group, four in the group. The stream is way behind than I thought. Five in the group, there we go. Yeah, um, we may be, we may, I might, might be a bit behind. Um, definitely like, like the buffer size and stuff like that will definitely increase over time. If you've been watching for all nine and a half hours of stream, you might want to hit it with a reset. Um, but yeah, just just checking your quick join. I don't know if you have to close it and open it to make it pop up, or if you can just like, if just have it open and it pops up when it's ready to go. I'm not sure. I've never done it myself. So uh, let's go, indeed, Trud. Fingers crossed. <clears throat> Watching you while at work, fantastic. And Piers while already popped up, fantastic. So yeah, just keep your quick join panel open and as soon as you hit that button, pushy pushy. Uh, no, they didn't, bro. <laughs> no, they didn't announce that the drop rate is gonna, the drop rate is around 0 0.003 currently. Uh, the blue post mentioned nothing about increasing the drop rate. The blue post said, we know it's not fun and we are looking at possible solutions. The fact that WoW had included the words drop rate and solution in the title means nothing. That's just them being clickbaity. 
Um, the blue post said, we know it's not fun and we're working on, we're discussing potential solutions. 16, fuck you. Um, so that the potential solutions may not be a change to the drop rate. It may be a solution to the excitement level, like the funness of doing the runs. It may be that there's an alternate source, an alternate source that we could get it from. We, we do not know. We have zero information. Wowhead has led people to believe things by sticking the words drop rate and solution into the same sentence, which is not at all what the blue post said whatsoever. All of the stuff that Wowhead said above and below the, the blue text means literally nothing. It's fluff. What matters is what the blah, 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 blah. let's try that again. What the Blizzard employee said, and they said nothing about increasing drop rate. They didn't even mention the drop rate specifically. The word drop and rate did not appear in their in their uh, message at all. Um, yes, but two memorizing shits on my brain is good for. The run's done. No mount. Ah, oh, next year, Chaos. Next year. That would be dumb from them, though. Why? They're, they're discussing potential solutions to the grind being unfun. That's literally what they said. Why would, like, making it more fun doesn't necessarily mean... It's, it's exactly the same amount of boring if they increase the drop rate. Oh, shit, I've got my add-ons installed still in this one. Whoops! There you go. Group is open. Ah, uh, rare pally font. Awesome. Sounds good. Who has been the king, queen of clickbaits forever? Two in the group. Three, four. In we go. Whoa. I also wish you luck on the mount. Thank you, Average. Much appreciated. But increasing the drop rate doesn't make it more fun. Correct. It just makes it faster, potentially, to get... You still have people who have shit luck and stuff like that. So the mount transferable between accounts. Not between accounts, so if it drops for somebody else, they can't give it to me. But if I get it to drop on one of my characters, all of my characters can use it. Um, so because they're all on the one account. Mm, Zerg the dungeon. Oh, we're trying. We're trying. <clears throat> oh, shush. Watch your feet. I know, shut it. <sighs> Stupid GTFO telling me to watch my feet. I'm aware. Ah! Sock! Thank you so much for the Geo! Thank you for the biddies. So generous of you. Oh, so wow, licenses under that one account credit. Correct. So if you've got eight accounts on your single Battle.net account, Every single one of them, all 400 potential tunes across those eight accounts, um, can use it. Watch your feet. Oh, pfft. stop it. Uh, I would love to make. Thank you, Sark. I very much appreciate it. That's what I meant. That's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to be like super comprehensive with my answer in case I misunderstood the question, but. Yes. So what's this? 17. No mount. Onward! Onward to the next one. I oh, this is one. I forgot about that. Yeah, that happens. That definitely happens. Uh, I should make it viable with tokens. The other pink bird mount is 250. If I'm not wrong, they should make that one cost like 500. 500 tokens takes all of about a day or two to grind up though. That's nowhere near comparative to, to the rarity that it has now. I think what they'll try to do is make it more fun to get whilst still preserving the, the exclusivity and the rarity of it. Uh, in which case you're probably looking more at like 3,333 tokens. <laughs> or even maybe more. Um, but no, 500 is not nearly not nearly high enough. Um, DPS? Oh fuck, I'm in healer spec. That's right. Uh, too easy to farm tokens, I make it 5k? Yeah, yeah. 238, I think. My stopped working. Oh, your brain? Yeah, totally fair. I get that. To number 10. Ah, brilliant. This is my, uh, so 18th? No. Yeah, 18th. <laughs> oh, 
I'm absolutely gonna hit lockout. This is hilarious. Eighteen! No mount. <laughs> Two more from Alliance, and then I'll be switching back to Horde for those of you who are wanting to run a couple more Hordies. And this is my first Paladin. I feel like 1k drop rate with weekly lockout would feel a little more bearable every time it comes around. Yeah. I hope my Pally didn't bring you luck. That's okay. It's probably because I had to be on a Pally as well, according to everyone. Group's open. Two, three. Here we go. And I got healer Q. Am I in healer spec? Of course not. Because we've got a couple of pugs, I am absolutely going to switch to healer because uh, I don't want to screw people over. <clears throat> Although my amount of mana is very, very low. <laughs> so that's fine. Bad of that. Nineteen. No mount. Uh, just got your fingers out. <laughs> you just lift the daily one attempt cap, and people would grind it out. They would. They absolutely would, and I would get zero sleep for the entire event, and then die. But I'd have the rocket. <laughs> oh shit. Mm. Must not crash. Must not crash. Don't like that. <laughs> hmm. I went last year, glad I don't have to do it this crap anymore. A second account just to have more tunes to run on it. Fair, Grannis. I cannot imagine doing any more than 50 a day. This has been... Look, it's been a de it's been a certain kind of fun, but I am so glad that I only... I can, that I can only do it for two weeks. If I could do it for longer, I would feel like I wanted to, and that would actually probably be the death of me. Um, this has been phenomenal fun, but two weeks is enough. That's what you call a dedication. You'd be dead after it. Love that. Brilliant. 20! No mount. I haven't used tunes to Lovebird yet. Unused Lovebird hatchlings from yeah last year! Oh my goodness. Broken into the Coke bottle yet? Yeah, we have. Just a few mouthfuls. Alright, I'm switching to hero uh, Heroic. Switching to Horde. And uh, we might have to wait before I can do more. I don't know. Let me check. Would you rather have every mount in the game or only Heartbreaker? Ooh. That's a really good question. I'm actually not too sure. I groaned if that helps. We need a full power team. Come on, we're dropping unless we have a full team and you know it. 
I will make clear. I will make it clear when I'm doing a paladin run. How's that sound? Like when I'm on a paladin. I've got three more paladins to go. Okay, so saved instances says 19 for 18 minutes. I don't think I believe that. Because that doesn't have fear on there. Why doesn't it have fear? It has, it has alliance fear, but it doesn't have horde fear on there. Every mount in the game include Heartbreaker. You're right, Nosh! <gasps> You're right! Yep, yeah, okay, I'll take every mount in the game. Thanks. Thank you for- look, I'm dying, okay? <laughs> I think saved instances is wrong. I think it's missed fears run. So I think that we queue up again when it hits 2am 2, 2 my time, which is in 15 minutes. Um. Ugh. Definitely every mount in the game. Every mount in the game includes Heartbreaker. Indeed, indeed. Alright, so let's do some of these redemptions. I have a stretch. Ugh. So yeah, when it hits 2am my time... Um, so you can see there's a little clock up in the corner here. It says 2.44. When that ticks over to 3, that'll be when I start up my next round of 10. So just keep an eye on that. Or, you know, your own clock, since when it hits the next hour or half hour. Chair stream, shower runs while we wait. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk chopping and changing tunes like that. Mmm. Go to bed, bed, enjoy, tread, rest well. Uh, we will see you next time. 44 minutes when you did your first alliance. If that helps. Oh, the alliance have logged properly. It was just my first horde tune that didn't. That's okay. I hope you get it. So do I. 11th Toxic Wasteling. Jealous? Uh, n no. <laughs> I, look, honestly, I haven't gotten as many Toxic Wastelings as I thought I would. Um... I've actually gotten only a small handful of them. Consider I'm doing, I've done 700 runs prior to this. Now I've done 720 runs. I'm kind of surprised at how few Toxic Wastelings I've ended up with. I took every other mount. I really like my Bruto and don't want to lose it. Fair, very fair. If you want to try, I have runs left on my main pally who can solo this. So no harm done if you don't get in. Uh, okay. Um, no, I know, I know that the first run I did was bang on when the event, like when the dailies reset. So I know that I, I've got like 13 minutes to go. Um, so that'll be okay. Uh, take every other mount. I already have a heartbreaker. Bro, is that the Tomcat? It is indeed. Tomcat and I go way back. We're like besties. And I know that sounds sarcastic, but genuinely, like... I've been raiding Tomcat on the regular for, for a while now. Um, in fact, Tom actually set up like a special see like a special stream transition thing and stuff specifically for uh, I think it was specifically for me and my raiders. I can't now that I'm saying that I'm like, I wonder if you have a bunch of other Aussie raiders as well. And now I'm just like, you know, got my head up my ass. But <laughs> yeah, Tom's wicked. Tom's awesome. Yeah, there you go. Two years. Jesus Christ. Two years, three months. Holy fuck. Like, I knew it had been a while, but I didn't know it had been that long. Good God. Baal. Okay. So we're going to... We're not going to sacrifice a goat, but we're going to have the demonic goat. Um... That works. For luck. Can you pick your damn fly traps while you wait? Sure. few Aussie readers you were the one I set up for initially. Ah, yay! That makes me that like this just is so sweet. So it to your yeah, ass. It's not a hat. Yes. Oh, I love that. It's so good. It's so good. But yes, it is absolutely the Tomcat, and you should all go download the add-on and uh, and read the. Is it a GoFundMe spiel or is it a is it a Patreon? Is it a GoFundMe? I can't remember which of the the crowdsourcing crowdfunding platforms it is, but like go read the thing and go do the stuff. Oh, I think I might go stretch my legs in a second because it's been a while since I stood up. Well, no, it's been just over an hour, but still. Mm, too late to download the add-on now for this particular... No, it's not. Never too late. Unless you've only got, like, zero tunes left to go. 
if it avoids if it avoids you sticking one character into the heroic queue accidentally, it's been worth the download. Star jumps go. Sadly, didn't get the heartbreak this year. Maybe next year. Yeah, small. Yes, next year. Absolutely, that's the spirit. I've still got thirty tunes to go. I'm just waiting for the dungeon unlock to happen because we went too fast. Uh, but I've got ten minutes, so I'm gonna go stretch my legs and I'm gonna be back shortly. And I'll run an ad while I'm gone to to turn off the pre rolls and stuff. Run away, little girl. Run away. Did you- oh, for fuck's sake. Stay... Up here, please. You only have to stay here for a couple more hours, okay? Like, seriously. And you just... Chill. Please and thank you. Hi. Um. <clears throat> Star Jumps Go, I keep telling myself every day to download, on, uh, the download that add-on, and did I? No. If you want to know where the rare is in ZM are tomorrow, it's not too late to get the add-on, maybe too early to get the version you'll need. <laughs> Just leveling while I wait for it, of course. Going to work on it for one more session table for update. Fantastic! Wednesday will be fun for me. Ross remember to update before I jump onto WoW. Yep, I always allow it to do like background updates and stuff. Um, stream will be starting at regular time, 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard. Uh, and Jas and I are going to work through the core of the storyline and stuff together because he will have been working all day anyway. Uh, and that gives me a chance to get some fucking housework done and maybe a little bit of rest. Uh, and then we can dive in together in the evening, afternoon, evening. Uh, it's going to be a blast. Uh, did I get that jasted and sound sorted? Yes. Yes. Um, it still says add a sound command four days ago, Jassadin, MWP underscore just Jory. Like it actually, it didn't update your name in the redemptions list. That's really funny. Um, she's still alive. Slept, woke, ran, excited to see her live at this time. Hello, Axie. I am indeed. Getting through those last, we, we ran 20, 10 Horde, 10 Alliance in record fucking time. And I've had to be sitting here waiting for like 20 minutes. <laughs> for my my runs to unlock on Horde side. 
Uh, welcome back, Alex. Did you get them out? Not yet. If I had, I would not still be here. Uh, <laughs> but we've got, I've done 20 runs so far. 30 to go. 30 to go in the next couple hours. Uh, is the add-on going to overlap with Zygor for rares and treasures? Uh, I don't really use Zygor for rares and treasures. Um, I don't like a lot of the uh, icons and stuff that it plops on the map. Um, so I don't tend to use it for that particular feature in before it takes till 4pm AEST to get the servers up on patch day. Well, I mean, that'd be nice. No, I'm kidding. Um, I hope they get them up nice and smoothly for everybody um, and don't have to do too many, like, funky restarts or anything like that. Because uh, I, like, I like it when people have fun, you know? I hope that people get to have fun. It's important. Let's do a stretch. So, wondering if I need an extra add-on. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, look, I have a lot of add-ons that do similar sorts of things, but I have some of them turned on for this and turned off for that and blah, 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 because I like the way some of them do it more than the other, the way that other ones do it, if that makes sense. He's falling asleep. Can you please get them out on the next run? Okay, thanks. Um, tell it to Aaron Jesus. <sighs> oh, I had... I finished my glass, so I need to add that to my tracking. Although it's going to be tracking for the wrong day now, but that's okay. Yeah, it's all it's reset everything. Uh, Alright, cool. So I'm gonna log some water. Oh, that means I can take my um Da 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 I can share that one. It's my activity for yesterday. Why? There we go. The colors went away for a minute. I was very confused. And then I can share this one as well. It's Discord. How am I still awake? Adrenaline. Literally. <laughs> Runs, rocket, mount, get, want, well don't get yet, want to get, need to get, yeah. I am about to doze off myself, 100% agree with Seeker. Oh dear, oh Jesus, mount, next run please, exactly. Six squids are in my bed, I'm too concerned if I switch from comp to foe, might squeal when mount drops and wake them. Oh no. Have you got something like marshmallows that you can eat to muffle yourself? <laughs> That's what I do, but you know, I'm... A bit interesting sometimes. Mm. Let's create a thread there. And then This one into this one. Good. When Trace to death on marshmallows while watching Twitch stream. I mean, yeah, okay. Probs not a best. Not probs not the best day. Slept for four hours. I feel okay. Just looking forward to being done so I can crawl back into bed before work. Yeah, I'm. I would like to sleep. I would very much like to sleep. Uh, <laughs> but that's okay. We've got at least another hour to do the 20 and then as quickly as I can knock out those last 10. I could be in bed by 3.15 because of how goddamn fast those cues were. I could be in bed by 3.15. That is ridiculous. And amazing, but ridiculous. <clears throat> Oh 
Oh my god, I can't spell good. Apparently the word important has an at symbol in it. Uh, <laughs> and then, and then, and then this one. There we go. Uh, no, it was actually spelt like this. Um, yep, yeah, I was, yep. Yeah. <laughs> that is apparently how important is spelt. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> is Jas still awake? Not still. He did what you did and slept and then came back because he's hella dedicated and what the fuck. Go time. Shit. It's go time. Oh fuck, no, I need I need to have at least a roll. Let's go. Um two, three. Well, that's four in the group. Five in the group. Done. Um, day off later date. No, this is this is my one of two work days. I only work two days. No. Nah. I'm still locked out. Yeah, I've entered too many. Yep. <laughs> no, still too many. Two, three, four. I don't think my first queue was that quick to pop. I think it took a little bit longer for people to kind of get into the groove of jumping into the group and stuff. Thank you, V. Good day. Go full group. So we can just not start. Exactly. We don't have to, like, convince any pugs to not start or anything. We can just hold up. Um, and I'll just try every 10 seconds or so. Uh, yes. So, I uh, looked into you don't already have it. So I've got Rarity, Alex. So Rarity plays a hell of a song and a dance when I get something to drop. Hey, there we go. I'm in. Um, the others who are stuck might want to give it a go as well, see if they can get in. Or is that all of us? I see three, four. There's another one. And then if Rick wants to try getting in as well, Rick, are, we should be. <clears throat> yeah, of course. Okay. Do you have something that'll tell, like, do you know when your first run of the last 10 was? Was it like straight up on, on the hour or? Because if it was like 10 past or something, then you're not going to be able to get in for a while. Um, I'm not sure. I have not been keeping track of who the fuck's in the groups. <laughs> Just putting it out there. I've been keeping track of my timer. Um, But no, so yeah, Rarity will play a whole thing uh, so I will not be able to miss it I won't be able to miss it um speed run Lisa put you in bed no time thank you Zam I greatly appreciate it I am fucking exhausted um so I actually thought this was my 10th ah interesting last 10 tunes hey Asosa hope you're doing well if you're all in just started okay if I miss out I miss out all right um I mean, we can always take you to the next one. Just keep an eye on stream and check that it's not too far behind because if you try to start getting in and your load screen's too long, it'll count as an entry. But if you don't make it in in time for the death, you won't get the thing. So just careful with that. I accidentally just bashed the mute button on my keyboard. I'm very good at this. <clears throat> Hey, fantastic. Welcome on in. Fun fact, you don't actually need to tag once you're in, as long as you're in the instance when they die. 
it'll just pop into your bags, which is how people get away with AFKing on the stairs. <laughs> yep. We do not encourage this. 21! <laughs> Alright, that's all my DPS, my pure DPS tunes finished. That I'd accidentally went, mm hmm I, um, I accepted a queue. I queued, got an instant healer queue, jumped in, and as I dropped onto the stairs, they killed it. I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> okay. I was obviously like a replacement healer. Totally fine with that. Group's open. Two. Three. Q has popped. I'm in tank. Should, like, a few minutes to try and beat the timer. Yeah. Oh, Jas is tanking. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'll just, that's fine. I'll stay in tank. Spec. <clears throat> we can fight for it. Jas is probably going to be a better healer than I am anyway. Like, if the pugs weren't DPS, if the pugs were the proper, like, specs and stuff, then I'd, you know, be okay. But this is, like, look at this. What's going on? They're dead. <clears throat> ah. I can't breathe. 22! <sighs> Here's Tank! Panic. Well, I'm supposed to be healer. So there's that. I wonder how my time is looking. I should probably check before I queue for shit, hey? <sighs> 19 for one minute. Yep, I'm fine. Two. Three. Four. Entering. Previous cruel and usual punishment. I can't wait till they increase the drop rate. Bring it up to 1%, it'll still be worth it. If they increase the drop rate. Wowhead is clickbait. We've had this discussion uh, a fair bit. Obviously, like, you know, not being here for it and stuff, that's totally okay. But um, the blue post never said anything about increasing the drop rate. They said, we know it's unfun and we're discussing a solution. The solution to it being not fun is not necessarily increasing the drop rate. <clears throat> it's Wowhead's fault for putting drop rate and solution in the same sentence as their headline, but it's misleading. The blue poster never said that. Not even slightly. Uh, if you see even more panic, I agree blue person actually say it, maybe they put it on the vendor. Potentially, yeah. Uh, or make it drop from more places, uh, or put in a bloody elongated quest chain. Like, god, can you imagine? 23! <laughs> That's fun. Uh, anything would be more fun than this, though! I have to say, this little, like, this little three hour block that I've got to do my last 50 runs, has been a blast. We managed to plow through 20 runs in 40 minutes. Because of all the community jumping in and like joining through quick join and like all that. It's, and the adrenaline rush and everything. This, it feels like expansion launch day. I feel like expansion launch day because of the excitement and the let's go, let's go, let's go, I'm feeling. So I'm not totally against this. But in the end, I'm very, I'm pretty damn easygoing when it comes to this shit. Like, they're gonna set the parameters for me to get them out, and I'm gonna work within those parameters. If they change the parameters, I'll work within the new parameters. Either way, I'm getting the fucking mount. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm pretty damn easygoing with that kind of stuff. I don't tend to complain about things like this just because, you know, they decided to make it super duper rare. And spending seven months leveling 26 more tunes to 50, so I had 50 50s ready to go. And then doing a stream every day for the 15 day period. Like it's been, it's been a lot of fun. 
it's been a lot of fun and I wouldn't trade the last couple weeks for anything. I am ready for it to finish, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. But if they did change it next year, then I'd just, I'd change up how I did it, obviously. And I'm, I'm all right with that. But yeah, I know I'm, I'm a bit unusual when it comes to that kind of stuff though. Um, so that's okay. I can accept that. Oh, this one's really bittersweet. Yeah, it's like the end of the thing and it's like, can I get it? 24. <laughs> I mean, taking away the 10 per hour thing would make it fun. Um, that would be kind of useful, yeah, because you could just plow through all your tunes in one block rather than having to wait around for, for lockouts and things like that. That would make it a little smoother. Absolutely. I'm just not sure how they'd manage to take it, how they'd be able to take it away for just one particular instance and leave it in place for all the other instances. Because um, there are valid reasons to still have it there. Uh, but look, I don't know. That'll be up to, and maybe that's one of the, one of the, Jazz! Maybe that's one of the solutions that they're discussing. Um, well, I guess we'll find out soon, won't we? Well, maybe not soon, but we'll find out. Uh, I put in 2,600 runs this event. Nada, didn't even get to see it drop for someone else. Yeah, I've had uh, 15, uh, 1,574 total across the whole everything, and I've never seen it drop once, not for somebody else either. But 2,600 in one event. How many characters were you running it on? Or do you mean like 20, you hit 2,600 this year and that includes previous years as well? I am not in tank spec. Oh, no, no. Okay, stream's still connected. Two accounts, 100 plus. Well, it can't be 100 plus because you get only a maximum of 100 tunes across two accounts, right? There we go. Yeah, I totally locked up entirely there. And 100 tunes is still 1,500 attempts, right? Where's the button? Uh, 25! Well, there's another Toxic Wasteling. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm doing non hat breaking mountains too. Oh, good. Now you're locked. And Wow said no for that run. I've still got another 25 to go. Uh, 30 count, 15 tunes. Ah, oh, not captured. I have to make an army to camp void talons. Fair, fair. Um, I've just like when I get my void talon, I'll just be uh, jumping in the secret finding Discord, I reckon, and just sitting here doing stuff, waiting for the ping to come up. Cause uh, yeah, I don't have. I'm, I'm entirely too fucking busy. Um, <laughs> I'm entirely too busy to, to be able to actually camp them myself. Um, uh, it's at the point now where I'm running my stream like a business, so um, I've got to actually put the effort in there, but I can sit here and do work while listening and waiting for pings to pop up, so that's what I can do. Mm. N.A. Oceanic, but um, yeah, I know Void Talon is still on the list. It is indeed. Void Talon for myself from Secret Finding Discord. Yep, that'll be what I do as well. Uh, and a, yeah, yes. Got Sandless, my first kill. Ah, oh, well done, Hein. That's your luck done. Look, sometimes you get lucky with more than one. You can get lucky with more than one. My luckiest mount farming week in WoW was a couple years back. Uh, Hallow's End. Monday, mount farm Monday, I got Invincible. The next day, Tuesday, I got Headless Horseman. And then the next Monday, another Mount Farm Monday, I got Memzen. All within a week. Pretty lucky. 26! <laughs> ah, drop one in chat one day. Ah. Oh. Got 66 of them out. Holy shit, no way. <gasps> Romantic, good on you. Thank you so much for your generosity in doing that for the for the WoW community, like the greater WoW community. That's super generous of you with your time. That's super awesome. Ah, uh, Voitalon's never had good timing though. This would be why you're in a key or something. Yeah, look. Or while I'm, you know, 
at work or asleep. Uh, <laughs> asleep is the worst one. Oh. Oh, two. Here we go. Oh, Jas just missed out. That's from was Astral Cloud Serpent, Anixia, and Mims hit in one week. Holy shit. That's amazing. Well done, Hein. Never message people while they're offline. Either catch them or I don't. Of course. Yeah, definitely. Mmm. I usually set my um, battle net to appearing offline just because the number of DMs I get when I'm appearing online and in game and not live on Twitch. Like, when are you streaming? Are you still streaming? When are you streaming? Are you live right now? Check the page. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, but it's so much easier to, uh, literally I said, why don't you just check the page? And they said, cause it's so much easier to just ask you. Do you think I'm gonna be responding to DMs while I'm live? Like stopping whatever I'm doing and talking about to like, it just, I don't know. Entitlement, man, entitlement. <laughs> so I usually set myself to appear offline just because it prevents me coming across like a bitch. Um, but oh my god, Zam, I'm gonna punch you so fucking hard in the face. I swear to god. <laughs> I'm not. That's obviously a joke, but still. Um, but yeah, it's uh... <sighs> Sometimes I do set myself online and then forget. That's good fun. Uh, 27? Mmm, those people want void burbs. There's always someone looking exactly. It's inappropriate. Give me people about it if they want it, mainly because the panic with void talons are fun. Yeah. The race. Oh, oh god. The anxiety. Uh, all right, this is a paladin. This is a paladin. Oh, I used to keep an auto raid lock on an alt, use it for multiple tunes each week. Got two mims heads from the same lock. One for me, one for a guilty. Oh, week apart. That's lovely, Tom. Oh, that's so good. Jess! <laughs> oh, three in the group. Hurry up. Fucking, look, I'm going. I'm doing the best I can. Weren't we supposed to be doing a group of all pallies? Kidding, it's fine. I'm just happy to have a group. Oh. Uh, I usually tell people where they have to go if Garrison, Hearth, or Ashran's better. Clone zone enough now. I know how by, by seconds how fast it is to portal. For sure. For sure. I am a healer, right? Yes, I am. Good. <sighs> like, all my tunes are parked in their garrisons anyway. Um, but they all have level three, so they can take the portal to Ashran. But will the load screen take longer than the seconds that will shave off? And do you know what I mean? Like it's all that sort of. Yeah, I've got a few tunes that are in war mode and all that kind of stuff. Uh, 28. <laughs> uh, keep hitting lockout. Oh, Yara, you need to get saved instances to track like how many you've got and how long till the next one unlocks. Cause then you can check. I don't do all the rough right lands anymore. Keep getting pure blood firehawks on Mim's head. Oh no. My lordy seven hours later is still going. Go for go. I'm trying Haley. I'm trying. I'm trying to get my last 50 runs in. Whew. Take into account loading screens. Usually some people's are longer than others. Yeah, the, num the number of add-ons and stuff you've got. Plus, you know, if you're loading from an SSD rather than a like a traditional hard drive, etc. Like there's all these little bits and pieces that factor into it. Um, two, three, four, five, full group. Oh, of course I'm a healer. Fuck it, we're getting, I'm no healer. <laughs> you don't get a healer. Don't stand and stuff. Oh, 
How long have we been live? 10 hours and 12 minutes. Apparently. That's how long we've been Oh, fuck. <clears throat> 29. <laughs> that would have been the number, right? 29. That had to, like, that would have been it. For those of you who are new I'm here and are paladin, uh... for those of you who are new and confused by that statement, uh, prior to making Twitch partner, uh, I was known as Fiamma Twenty Nine. So all my social handles are some ver ver like variation on Fiamma Twenty Nine, because uh, Twenty Nine is my lucky number, and that was Tune Twenty Nine. So that would have been it, but it's not. So clearly, it's gonna be a paladin or something. <laughs> something. Two, three, four. <clears throat> I'm guessing Jas is the tank. So I can just go DPS. Oh no, Tom's a tank. That's okay. Just the same. Still wonderful and amazing. I should have remembered the last day. Maybe I get better luck with it today. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Look, if you don't try, it won't drop, right? Can't drop if you don't kill him. <clears throat> Marathon is real. Full respect, drop and active. Oh, I'm trying. I'm dying. <laughs> but this is tune number 30. I'll be switching to Alliance after this one. I'm doing my last 10 alliance attempts for the event. 30. <laughs> 20 tunes to go. 922 tries on Invincible. It doesn't it? Holy shit. <gasps> That's a lot. I have a streamer friend who had 2,500 plus attempts on Ashes before it dropped. I am extraordinarily lucky that I've never had amount be that bad, knocking on wood. Uh, my worst, I think, was Mail Muncher. Um, I had 304 attempts as a one in a hundred drop chance. Uh, and then I had the Pond Nettle, which was like 4,700 and something attempts when it's supposed to be a one in 2,000. Uh, but you can like spam those and they're really, really quick, like, you know, each cast. Um, so yeah, it's a, uh, I haven't had, um, yeah, two. Then we hop. Slowly dying, but also triumphing. Is that a word? Let's go with it. Yes. Yes, pond nettle. Yeah, go 4,000. Oh, shit. Fuck, I've got a minute to go. Fuck. And that's a bunch of, um, that's a bunch of pugs. I'm going to miss it. That's okay. Uh... So two years plus an invincible, 12 characters each week. Wow. Poor Percy. Yeah, I know, right? Bane is a white hawk. Strider from Kael'thas. Was doing 12 plus tunes for a while. Hate part of this love-hate relationship kicked in now. Wasn't doing it weekly or anything. I had bursts where I'd do like five to 10 tunes a week. Ashes took me around eight years. That's no exaggeration. Yeah, they're pulling and they've lusted. Um, so I'm not going to get this. I'm going to leave instance group. <clears throat> leave you screwed they're complaining that i'm locked it dude it's fine it's you do not need a tank in there <laughs> you will be fine um uh be sleeps for your chat wait 22 hours and 22 minutes is my limit totally okay rest well seeker we will see you next time see you next time uh, i wasn't doing it weekly or anything i had bursts where i'd do like five ten tunes a week ashes to me around eight years holy shit Oh my god, 3,000 plus on all the Pandaren world bosses? I do not. Yet. There we go. Alright, joining as a party. I'm down to 19. Hmm, <laughs> when I got one, come get it. Go to Garrison Horde? Nah, I can't. 
I can't. If I if I don't get my my fifty runs done in three hours, I'll be fucked. Like I'll be fucked. Anytime other than right now, it'd be fine. But I cannot miss these attempts. I won't do it. But anybody else, there's a void talent up. No, like romantic, I get that. But the void talent's available all year round. All year round. It's like the heartbreak is not. <clears throat> I just really like people raging at me at the time is my control. Yeah, like fuck, that's so stupid. It's like they think there's a limited number that can possibly ever drop and you getting it prevents them from getting it. It's just so silly. The fact that you got it proves that it's not bugged and that it can drop. Like, why would people be angry about that? It just that drives me batty. Like be happy for others, maybe, you know, if you if you think about it. 31. <sighs> How many left? Uh, 19 to go. On to the next tune. But I am hitting, like, lockouts. <laughs> I'm hitting lockouts. Because I've been going so fast because people keep jumping in. Void Talon's not that hard if you do server hopping and shit. Yeah, but it also it is quite time involved. Uh, and I don't, I'm very time poor, personally. I'm like hugely time poor. Um, so it's quite difficult for me to be able to invest that kind of time in literally anything. However, this is only here for another couple of hours. Like, that's it, you know? This has to be my number one focus at the moment. Uh, I just left the guild, lol. Took us decide not to be in that environment, absolutely. Uh, I think Yori beat you to it, Nosh. Uh, anger is derived from fear. People fear what they don't understand. People who have difficulty understanding much are often angry. Yeah, that's very fair, Tom. Very fair. So glad you've got so many lovely people able to help you with cues. I wish I could. Of course, suck. That's okay. Do not worry. Do not worry at all. How oh, are I getting there? I'm sitting at 20 instances, but they're unlocking like as I get to the next one. I've only hit, I've only been booted like twice now, I think. I've only accidentally queued too early twice. So I'm checking now, I'm trying to at least. I had to wait 20 minutes when we got the first 20 done in 40 minutes. <laughs> I had to wait 20 minutes for my, my stuff to unlock. It was quite entertaining. Oh, this is 32. Go tell Matt. Fantastic, Kitty. Congratulations. Just someone in group at the moment. I hope they make it. Here's hoping you get another. Of course. Of course. Uh, good. Switching tunes. Uh, is the lock per Battle.net account or WoW account? Nope, it's per server. It's got nothing to do with the account at all. It's literally per server. So if you had 50 tunes across five servers in 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, you'd never hit lockout running through all of them. Never. Um, but I've got them because I like to be able to share gold between my tunes. So I've got 30 and 20. And that way at least I can go 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Um, yeah. Whoa. Two, three. I think I can get away with uh, just sticking DPS. Ooh. Oh, is the tank not one of us? I never hit that then. Yeah. yeah it's per server. Oh no, Zam's the tank. That's fine. Zem doesn't need healing. <clears throat> oh. 
You say he'll go prop melon. Fantastic, well done. I've heard that that's possible. <laughs> Alleys are a little bit broken at the moment. Just a touch. Uh, 33. <laughs> hey, okay, long stream, it seems. 12 hours target? No, uh, get the runs done, target. And <laughs> go the fuck to bed whenever they're finished. <laughs> I've worked today. Yep. So yeah, I'm just trying to get my last 50 in for the Lovers in the Air runs. And then whenever they're finished, that's it, I'm done. Go on to bed, because I have work today. Two in the group. Three. Healer Q, I'm in Healer Spec already. Brilliant, that look was priceless. It look. <laughs> I've been told I have a very expressive face. Uh, I think there needs to be a sound effect when opening up the box with no mount inside. Can it, can it, can it be? Because <laughs> I would absolutely blow a raspberry along with the in-game sound effect. You know how hard it is to keep mastery at this level? At what, at 10? I don't know, what, why, what? Wah, wah. Yep. <laughs> Type slash rasp. Yes! That. Perfection. The game has a wonderful sound. Yep, agreed. <laughs> the look on my face when I heard it must have just been like pure happiness. <laughs> oh god, I'm tired. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Ooh, let's go. Well and truly over halfway there. We got this. Let's do this. Let's get this shit done. We have done, oh shit. We have done 34 characters. This will be number 35. Let us get this done. Well, though, what the fuck is the story behind this instance? Uh, that is a good question. We have three in the group. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's, um, there. there's a group of alchemists who are making perfumes and colognes that are designed to screw with people. Like, like make them not good or like undead or something. I don't know. I can't remember exactly what it is, um, but they're, they're the alchemists and they're bad. They're naughty, and uh, we're stopping them. <clears throat> there is a quest. There is a story. Um, there's a quest chain and everything, but uh, I did it many years ago, and I have forgotten. Oh, good. I didn't check my timer, but it's we're good. We're fine. Whew, mind control of some sort. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Oof, I'm cold. It's keeping me awake. Aircon's on, and it's chilly in here. I stepped outside earlier when I took my little, um, my little break when I was waiting for 20 minutes. It is fucking humid in the rest of the apartment, and it's fucking freezing in here. Uh, I think also it's in the Shadow Fang kit because it's undead Sylvanas Scourge stuff. Yeah, they're like, but it's to do with the perfumes and stuff like that, though. 35! <laughs> I never bothered. Fits the lore of the area. It does. It does. Oof. You buzzing at me or no? Probably. Why aren't you in bed yet? I wonder, because so Fitbit, for you to have sleep data, you have to sleep at least seven, at least three hours. So this is going to be interesting to see if I actually get three hours of sleep. Mm, missed out on the void talent and despawn. Oh no. That's okay. Next time. <clears throat> K. 
not take eyes away. <sighs> if I recall, you drink the sparkly potions on the one table to counteract poo, but today's DPS you don't need to anymore. Correct, yeah. So if you took a green potion, um, you would take zero damage from the green splotches and reduced damage from the purple ones. And if you took a purple potion, you'd take no damage from the purple splotches and reduce damage from the green ones. Um, but yeah, no, we don't care. We just don't stand in them now. <laughs> I mean, you can also stand in them, but your healer may or may not yell at you, depending. Or they might just stop healing you. That's also another option. <clears throat> More talons are horrible. I try again, though. Look, void talons are, um, look, one day I'll have one. And I'm okay if that's not today. One day. Turned off computer, turned on phone stream. Perfection. Originally there was a Rugal in his Worgen, yeah. Last day for probably a couple weeks. Patch will have the timers reset a bit this week, and I swear, yeah. Yeah, because of all the hot fixes and, and server restarts and stuff like that that they'll do. 36. No. Wrong button. 36. <laughs> Fuck. How to tell fear needs sleep. Uh, I gotta go shower. Get ready for the evening. Pray to our own Jesus. You get the mount. Thank you, Sark. I appreciate the prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Uh, <laughs> enjoy your shower. I'm sure it'll be lovely. Rain cannot deal with the end the second you fell asleep. She got it. Yeah. I know, right? I, like, I'm so sorry. I, there is, I understand, like, I feel in my soul the power of FOMO, the fear of missing out. And I sincerely apologize to everyone who is here against their better judgment because of that FOMO. It was, I promise you, it's not my intention. Um, but also, goddamn, it'll be a moment if it fucking does. Holy shit. Ah, oh, shit. I should be fine now. I'm at 19. What? Ah, oh, it's lying. It's lying. It must have missed one again. I'll try one more. No. All right. I'm going to leave. Uh, yes, you may join. I don't know how long, though, because the saved instances says 19. So there's three. There's three on that list. Leolita... Desi and Nalana, and they are in the right order. So it didn't track Lilianne. Fuck. It didn't track Lilianne, who was my first alliance tune that wasn't a It was the one with all the add-ons turned on. Um, that's a different Lilianne. The one under Melissa is a different Lilianne. I've got two of them. It's very confusing, I know. Um, I've got two Fears, two Liliannes, and two Desis. As you can see on that list, there's two Desis, Desideratas. Um, fuck, that's annoying. I really hate that. Sorry, I'll queue in a minute and um, that way it'll be at 18. Ah, uh, I'm from EU. That's okay. Thank you so much. I have to get at least 69 talent. Void talents given away because cat. Well, yeah, because it's the nice number. Last tune. I saw my void to have. I saw void talent my first day in Ward. Didn't want to spoil the story and I thought it wasn't supposed to be there, so I didn't click it. Oh, no, Alex. Yeah, I was waiting for things. I got saved instances for future things. It's a, it's so useful, so useful. So many people say they've seen portals and not known what they are. I said a lot of people confused. They had to click the portal. They thought it was a straight up just a mount. Yeah, nah. Yeah, that sucks. Um, you think FOMO was shortened for formal, like emo, emotional. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a acronym. Nothing this year. Well, didn't do all tunes every day. That's okay. You do what you can. Actually, made me tear up a little bit. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, 52 seconds out. At least I'm not going to be waiting a full 20 minutes this time around. The queues, they, we're definitely running a little bit slower now. I think people have shuffled off to bed. 37. I'm drinking so much fucking water tonight that I need to pee again. And I, like, I peed right before we started the, the last runs. And then in that 20 minute break, I went to the bathroom again. And now I need to pee again. Like, fuck, man. Too much water. 
Ugh, my body doesn't know what to do with it. I'm too hydrated. Overhydrated. She says as she picks up the water glass. I need to teach my body to learn to deal with it. There we go. No such thing as too much water. Oh, there absolutely is. Water poisoning is a thing. Did you know? You can die from having too much water. It is literally a thing. Especially kids. You cannot, like, babies who are, like, you know, the age that are meant to be, like, formula fed or breastfed or whatever. If they have water at that age, it will kill them. Like, literally. They can die. Just go where you sit. Ew! No! Poor chair! Chair, don't worry. That's not a thing that I would do, ever. Uh, I really should camp out another TLPD. Hate storm peaks, though. Uh, you need six liters in an hour. Uh, depending on your weight and all that kind of like, there's a whole bunch of other stuff and things like that as well. But yeah, it's um, you need a fuckload of water to get water poisoning. But a lot of people, there's a is it LSD or is it ecstasy or is it there's a there's a particular drug that tends to make uh the the imbiber super hella thirsty like overheating and you'll often find them like standing with no clothes on in commercial freezers if they're at a club like they'll find their way back of house and get in a freezer or a fridge and strip off uh, or they'll drink and drink and drink and drink and drink and then they die so they don't die from an overdose of the meds like of the, the meds of the drugs they take the drug then drink too much water and kill themselves that way which is so fucked up thankfully that wasn't the get clip but that's fine 37. 13 to go. Uh, or if you drink too clean water. Interesting. I didn't know that bit. That's fascinating. Uh, I'm trying to teach myself to drink more water rather than go to fizzy drinks. It's hard. Yeah, um, I, like, I obviously now, uh, I drink some, uh, soft drinks and stuff like that, but there was a period there for about three years that I didn't have a single soft drink. Um, I just, like, one, we, we, we had, like, a pack of cans in the fridge, like a, a variety pack of soft drink cans in the fridge. And I woke up on a January 1st and my partner at the time said, hey, do you want a, do you want a drink? Do you want a can of drink? And I kind of just went, no, thanks anyway. Uh, and like, it wasn't an intentional decision. I just said, no, thank you. And then I just kept saying, no, thank you. And then it was three years later and I hadn't had any soft drink. Um, I don't know how I managed to do it, though, because I have zero willpower. I, f I theorize that I used all of my willpower up on that. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jas, you just missed out. <laughs> but yeah, it just, I don't know how I managed to do that. But yeah, no, cutting down the soft drinks can be quite difficult. I would highly recommend finding, like, cold-infused tea bags uh, and stuff like that. That's what I use, um, and I end up with, like, pink water and stuff like that. Um, because it's flavoured water, but it doesn't have, like, as much of the sugary stuff in it and things. Like, it just, yeah. Because the water in Brisbane tastes like dirt. Um, like, literally, it's it's hard water. There's a, It's a high mineral content, so it tastes like dirt to me. Uh, so I cannot drink it out of the tap. I just can't. It It's disgusting. Um, so, uh, yeah, I brew cold brew tea bags. Um, and, uh, and that helps because it gives, you know, yeah, it dulls the dirt flavor, but it also makes me feel like I'm drinking something like juice instead. Um, yeah, it is, it certainly helped me. Hopefully it helps you to wait shit. Oh no, I'm not in tank spec. I'm a tank and I'm not in tank spec. This is good. I can't do anything. What is going on? Why can I not do anything? It's fine. Let's just do this. Hope for the best. What the hell are my bars? What the hell are my bars doing? That's fine. 38. Uh, adult nappies. Oh god, no. I'll just hold it and go to the bathroom. When I, when I get to a point where I've got to wait like three minutes for a dungeon or something, I'll just use that opportunity to, to run to the bathroom. Um, I think this water poisoning just drowns you because the water gets in your lungs. Uh, no, 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 it's it's actual, you can, like water poisoning is a thing, especially like you were saying the six liters in an hour. 
um, if you're there, there are certain, as I say, like the drugs make you drink too much because you feel like you're burning from the inside out. Uh, and so you drink and drink and drink and you end up drinking things like eight hours, uh, eight hours, fucking eight liters, just guzzling it. Like not, you know, you, you gulp and breathe while you're gulping and you just don't stop until you vomit and you pass out on the floor. Uh, but I do not think I'm in any danger of that because if anything, I am chronically uh, dehydrated. <laughs> Zamus permanently in a prop. Stop worrying. Okay, noted. Noted. Uh, water poisoning tends to work by causing an imbalance in the body chemicals. Salt deficit due to too much water consumption is a threat for hikers. Like, yeah, that's right. Because the the salt means that your cells can't like the the dilution of the salt means that your cells can't communicate properly, right? That's I feel. Isn't that a thing? Melbourne has decent time. Yes, I agree. Eternal. I I agree wholeheartedly. I'm from Melbourne originally, um. So I yeah, Melbourne tap water is good. Brisbane shit. Sydney, uh, mostly shit. Um, but yeah, Melbourne tap water is... Yeah, superior. Tasmania tap water. Holy cow, that shit tastes like bottled water. Literally. And it's cold. Always cold, straight out of the tap. <laughs> uh, five to go. Oh, Yuri, so close. Sweden, we have a lot of flavoured carbonated mineral water. It's a great way to replace soda with that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Especially if you can get the stuff that has, like, super low sugar and stuff like that. And even if you're outside of Sweden, 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 um, you can grab, like, if you can save up the cash, um, you know, quit, quit the sodas for a bit, uh, save up the cash and get yourself a soda stream and make yourself carbonated water at home and then you can pop your own flavours in there, like a couple of slices of lemon or something like that. Uh, and that's, like, super healthy too. Uh, 39. Nada. Also, do not have an extra layer in our cells like plants, which means outer cells can burst from taking on too much water. Correct. They can. They can, then. Uh, full of spider eggs. Yum. Brilliant. Final Alliance Tune. Paladin. How come you left Melbourne? Uh, in a uh, university, actually. Uh, I went to a uni in Sydney. Because it was, uh, at the time, I don't know if it still is, but at the time it was the best university in the country for the degree that I wanted to get. So I went there. Moved out of home at 18. Moved into state <laughs> at 18. And, uh, yeah. And then eventually shuffled my way up to Brisbane as well. Oh, come on, Alliance, don't let us down. We'll see how we go, eh? And then I'm going to have another 13, 10 to 13 minutes before I can do my final round of 10 hordes. I'm probably going to go to the bathroom. What degree was that? I have a oh, degree. I have a degree in forensic biology and biomedical science. I don't use it, but I have it. <laughs> and I learned a lot about a lot of different things um, through going through and getting it. enjoyed it a lot. And I still love the stuff. Like, I, I'm fa still fascinated by the topics that I learned about. Um, I just ended up not applying it to my career, my work life. Forty. A friend of mine moved back to Sweden with her family from Australia last year. We're here. They found some really dangerous spiders in Sweden. I think it's a bit sus, to be honest. Oh, Alex. Oh, no. You reckon they did a smuggle? Obviously kidding. Not suggesting that anyone has broken laws. Um, right. So it was Renard. So I'm on Elka, And I do have to wait for the next lockout. Oh, I know what you mean. Same here. Hardly ever works out the way it seems. It's interesting, isn't it, Mick? It's it's super interesting. Like, I know a lot of people who have gone to university, they've gotten their degree, and they've gone into that area, and they've done the thing, and they've been absolutely awesome at it, and all this kind of stuff. But, like, more and more often these days, life takes some really interesting paths. Um, so I have a degree in forensic biology and biomedical science, and I work 
a day job as an assistant accountant and a night job as a content creator, live streaming video games on a platform called Twitch. So like, <laughs> you, mm? however, there are a shitload of things that I learned during my degree that I absolutely apply in my everyday life. Things like critical thinking, although I did learn to critically think in high school, um, university really honed that skill, especially the skill of research and finding reliable sources and, and being able to tell how to trust a reliable source from an unreliable source. Um, obviously like, you know, the, the teamwork and all that kind of shit. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, it was certainly interesting. Uh, so you're a biomedical engineer too? I'm not. I'm an assistant accountant by day and a content creator by night. Degree of psychology, master's criminology, work as an accountant with an H dip in financial management. No way. There you go. Holy shit, Haley. I have zero financial qualifications. I'm not a, a CPA. I'm not a certified practicing accountant. I am an assistant accountant. So I do a whole lot of stuff with the accounts and, and lots of money things and payroll and blah, 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 blah. But none of the official like submitting to the government or that kind of stuff that's all done by a cpa by by an accountant accountant with a fucking degree um <laughs> but i can prepare everything do all the do all like the grunt work and then hand it up to my boss who can kind of check over things make adjustments where needed because things may have changed or whatever or i've gotten something wrong um and then send it off to where it needs to go with their signature card. do you know what i mean um, so, yeah. Hi, the sun well. Alex, thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated. Much appreciated when we get back in track with our projects. I'll hire you. <laughs> I haven't done anything for biomed for, like, literally, I think a decade now. I'm 32. When did, how old was I when I graduated? Yeah, about a decade now. Um, or almost over a decade. Also an accounts assist process the invoices. Yeah, I do invoices, credit card rec reconciliations, bank accounts, payroll, um, and then just any kind of financial doodads and like general admin as well, like database admin and stuff like that. Change interesting turns sounds as accurate as, as interesting can mean either success or disaster. Correct, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It could be this story. It's a town, San Vicen, that got hit by a bunch of poison spiders from Chile originally. Got loose somehow. Oh, Jesus. No need. We plan and design hospitals. You'll be on track in a month. If you're awake at this time of day, you go, look, I'm trying. I'm trying. We've got 10 attempts to go. And before they unlock, because I've got a few minutes before I can actually jump into the next one, I'm going to go pee. 32, really? I mean, 20 stop. Yeah, I turned 32 on the 11th of Feb. So what's that? 11 days ago was, was my 32nd birthday. Oily as fuck skin. Skincare. Makeup. Camera isn't eyes. Camera's not gonna give you a perfect image. So like if I go, where's the button? If I go up here, you can kinda, you can start to see, and also my makeup is fucking everywhere cause I'm fucking tired. Look at my eyes. Are they like, they must be red. They've gotta be red. Yeah, they're getting there. But no, I'm uh, like, you can definitely, there's some, there's some stuff starting to happen there. There's definitely some stuff starting to happen, but uh, the camera, the camera's not an eye. It can't see the detail that your eyeballs would be able to see if we were face to face. But my parents also both look a hell of a lot younger than their years. Um, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to carry on that legacy. Uh, to close the school, big factory, you can't find any spider. Oh God. Which posh Australians, you made them say it was from Chile. I'm gonna just say go to the toilet. Is it? Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I'll be right back in a second.
Okay, that is right. I'm gonna get five hours sleep tops these days. Oh, Mick, I'm so sorry to hear that. So sorry to hear the sleep thingy. Uh, three to go, but lockout. Oof. And for the chair stream. Yeah, this is this is chair. Uh, chair is the most supportive member of the family. Yes. <laughs> a decent night's sleep for about three and a half years. Yeah, I um I've been No, what are you doing? Oh, okay. Can I have lead, please? Thank you. Um, I've been an insomniac since I was nine. Nine, ten. Uh now thirty two. So yeah, no, I feel that. It's uh I've gotten to the point where I'm in bed for the appropriate amount of hours. So even if I'm not asleep, I'm still resting my body and allowing it to just be still and warm and snuggly and stuff and, and rest. Though it's not as restful as sleep, just resting my body does do something at least. Um, and I can pop in my earbuds and have something playing quietly enough that it doesn't keep me awake or disturb me, so I can fall asleep through it, but it also keeps my mind occupied so I don't spiral, because I also have some... Well, uh, it was originally generalized anxiety and depressive episodes, but um, I've since... Uh, two years? A bit over two years now. Uh, diagnosed with cyclothymic disorder, which is like bipolar 2. Uh, but faster, so where bipolar episodes can last weeks or months, sometimes even years in extreme cases, uh, my episodes last at tops a week, more likely a couple of days, sometimes even a couple of hours. So swinging between those like that quickly is hella goddamn exhausting. Um, so and part of taking care of all those. So in, in you know if I'm lying there in utter silence, my brain talks to me and it's a bitch. Uh, <laughs> so. I don't, to be clear, uh, I'm not talking about voices in my head. I don't have delusions or hallucinations or anything like that. I have hypomania, uh, which means I just like get quite like excited and I overcommit myself to things and think adrenaline fear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, to, so to shut my voice up, uh, to shut the the internal like it's it's not a it's not voices in my head. It's the internal voice, if that makes sense. I hope it, like I know there's I know there's a few people here who are from international and stuff and if English is not first language that might be a bit confusing um but I'm, I'm trying I promise <laughs> uh so yeah so I have um usually it's something like Netflix episodes of like a cartoon that doesn't really need much p attention to be paid but that has lots of dialogue because if I have words going on I can hone in on the words and like repeat make my brain just repeat the words rather than talking to me and reminding me of how horribly I did on that thing when I did that thing like 15 years ago. Yeah. Um, so instead of that, I just kind of repeat the words back to myself uh, and eventually I, f I, you know, drift off. It could take hours, but at least I am, my body is at peace and I'm, I'm lying down and I'm all snuggled up and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm resting even if I'm not sleeping. But of course, that's going to be different for everybody. Not everyone is capable of doing that and not everyone finds rest to be restful. They need sleep specifically. But uh, yeah, I've gotten this far with a fuckload years of therapy uh, and talking things through and adjusting and playing around with that whole sleep hygiene thing, which is out the window this evening, but that's okay. I'll still do most of my sleep hygiene kind of schedule. I just won't be able to do all of it because it's too bloody late and I need to get into bed. Um, but yeah, it's fun times. Mm, does the chair table discussions? Uh, chair, chair is quite quiet. Um, chair is just like a, a silent supporter most of the time. Maybe a somewhat ironic question. Do you have any working body parts? My hands seem to go okay, which is good for gaming and doing my makeup. Um, look, most of my body works. It just doesn't work to like optimum efficiency. Ah, I work overnight. Night sleep is not a regular thing. Totally fair. Understand what you're saying. If that helps, thank you, Haley. I appreciate that. I'm trying to like, 
I'm so hyper aware that on the internet, there are so many different people who have different ways of understanding uh, and, and speak multitudes of languages and stuff like that. And sometimes little, like small mistranslations can result in massive misunderstandings. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I always try to be really super clear about what I do and don't experience because if someone's like, oh, I experienced that too. And then I'm like, oh no, I do not experience that at all. Um, I, sometimes they might feel like they're being othered or something, do you know? And I don't want to, I don't like upsetting people. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Hey, Epox. Still like, oh, I know, Keggy. I know. I'm about to start. I'm about to start my last 10 horde and then we'll be done. We've got a minute until I can queue. Um, we're not hallucination sphere, we are real and we believe in you. Thank you, Sam. God, can you imagine if six years worth of stream, like Twitch streaming was, I mean, look, my payments come from Twitch and they drop into my PayPal and then I move them into my thing and I've paid rent with them and I haven't been evicted yet. So, so it must be okay. Uh, <laughs> bit of insomnia I had as a bit before. Yeah, uh, major depression issues, seeing different, two different shrinks for. Brilliant. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm glad that you're um, putting in the work because I mean it does doesn't it it takes so much fucking work and not just us but us like in tandem with professionals and and working together to kind of get to the bottom of shit and and try to find even if you can't fix something finding a way to make it move a little smoother with the rest of your life really does help at least from my experience fingies how long until your next paladin that's a good question uh I do have lower luna I think she's coming up pretty quick um, where's my 50-50 spreadsheet? Um, so I have... Where am I? Yalka, then Yabana, then Madredris, then Lower Luna. So fourth, fourth turn. Alright, let's get cracking. This is it, let's do the last ten. <clears throat> oh, my phone just told me my work alarm will be going off soon. <laughs> F. Uh, oh, let me allow this through. Um... Uh, wake up, Jazz. It's time to do the day thing. Do you have any tips for starting out on Twitch as a first-time streamer? Uh, yeah. Have fun. Do what you enjoy. Um, because if you do something because it's got high numbers, um, but you don't have fun doing it, all you'll do is gather a community who likes that specific thing, and then it will be shit. Um... Oh god, what the hell has this character even got on their bars? Nothing. Literally nothing. I'm supposed to be a tank, so just ignore me. Um, but yeah, so if, if, you, if you play something you don't enjoy just because there's numbers there, you'll gather a community who likes the thing that you don't like, and then when you try to change, they'll all drop off. Uh, so play what you enjoy. And get yourself a social media account for every fucking platform that you feel comfortable using. All of them. Every single one that you feel comfortable using. 41! Um. What was I supposed to be healing? Oh, I don't even know. How we hop? I'm so tired. Um. Yeah. Oh, he's got specially made shoes. Ah, oh, awesome, Exo. Helped out so much. I'm so pleased to hear that. Uh, made you sleep your shoes in the again after I was killed with the failure of the system prosecute the bastard. Did it? Well, that's not good. Jesus. I'm sorry to hear that. My condolences. Oh, I know there is some issues. I also have ADHD in addition to the production. Yeah, for sure. Um, comorbidities uh, are fun. Oh, shit. I'm gonna. That's gonna lock him out. It's gonna be locked out. No? Oh, for God's sake, saved instances. Get your shit together. <laughs> I'm not locked out. 21 instances, apparently. Um, I'm going to sleep not being restful. My whole body hurts. Oh, no. I slept a long time yesterday. I wanted to sleep at a proper time tonight. Was a mistake. No, I think it's a good idea, Keg. Because that way, hopefully, tonight you'll be able to sleep at a proper time. Like, correcting your sleeping pattern as much as it hurts to do it at the time, it is a valuable thing to do. For sure. Supposed to be a tank. I don't even know what I was supposed to be at that run, honestly. I'm falling asleep. Um, hit around as well, please, crown, claiming not enough evidence. God damn. I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Uh, change the titles in my guild. Oh, yeah. Share your genius with us, Yori.
42. <laughs> Simple night reset sleep shugs never works out quite right. Yeah, I honestly find like staying up all night makes me crash during the day. Like I just, I can't do it. I think maybe that's got something to do with the whole um, like autoimmune and my body just not functioning properly and stuff as well. But um, staying up all night never works. Going to bed when I'm supposed to, even when I've had a nap or if I've woken up late and then go to bed at the right time. Even if I don't sleep, like I was talking about before, the whole resting but not actually sleeping, even if that's all I achieve, it helps to sort things out faster. They're all W insert source because I am genius. Oh no. Also going to sleep is make me think it's bedtime. Probably nap then get up and do study later on today. Oh, Ali, best of luck. I hope it works out. All right, let's give this a go. Let's see if it'll let me in. Chicken nuggets. Brilliant. I think my lashes are starting to do funky things. As long as like the top rank in your guild is with sweet and sour sauce, everything is got fine in the world. Followed closely by barbecue sauce. Just saying. <laughs> And that's your stream up and sleep. Thank you, Ali. I will. Much appreciated. Best of luck with your rest and your study. Mm, aioli sauce. Yeah, look, aioli's great. But I'd probably put it, like, third or fourth. Sweet and sour is top. Top, 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 top. Followed by barbecue. And then aioli and mustard are kind of, like the trade. What I really love is dipping in mustard and then dipping that in sweet and sour. Like, so you got like a coating of mustard and then a coating of sweet and sour on top. So good. Like, specifically the McDonald's ones in Australia. I don't know how good it is overseas. That was 44. No, it wasn't. It was 43. 43. I lied. Seven to go. My tunes are sweet and sour. Good. Good. Cupy. Oh, Cupy is great. Cupy is such a versatile ingredient as well. Uh, hear me out. Cupy chocolate cake. This is the paladin. This is the paladin. Macca's nuggets. Yep. <laughs> and curry the barbecue. So it's our number one always. Curry sauce. I don't think we get curry sauce in Australia. Unless I am like just sorely missing out. We go. Couldn't eat it, but I'd try it for sure. For sure. Oh, I miscounted. Oh, no. That's okay. Thought it was next. That's all right. That's okay. Oh, I'm in holy. Shit. <laughs> it's all right. Zam is permanently in prot. It's okay. I'll just heal Zam. We'll be great. Change places. Nano Pally team, that's okay. And QB and Byron Bay jalapeno sauce on everything. Ooh, that sounds really good. Mm, 44. <laughs> that was got my mind on my money. That was not a mount. That was got my mind on my money. That's probably going to happen a lot moving forward. <laughs> but that's roughly the sound it's going to make when the mount drops. That actually made my heart stop though. I knew I, it wasn't there. And then I heard the sound. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, I, uh, my heart is now across the other side of the room somewhere. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not dead. Whatever. The 
The bamboozle, I know, right? How dare. Heard last night after Gul'dan. Ah, oh, I thought it was a max. The ding noise, my heart sunk. That's awesome, though. That Hearthstone card is hella rare as well. Congratulations. Well done. harder to breathe. That's okay. 45! <laughs> Five to go. I should probably stop drinking the coke now. Five more to go. I've done 45 so far. Five to go. <clears throat> Demand Coke as tribute. You can absolutely have some Coke. As long as you keep the bottle, there's a code in there that we could win shit with. Fake camel statues are such but oh. I I could not believe my eyes when that add-on told me it was a real statue. I, was, I freaked out. I flipped. I was doing a lap on two different servers once a week for like a really long time. And I finally saw the real camel and I flipped my actual shit. But it was it was good. <laughs> I was really proud of myself, you know? I stuck with it and I got it and it made me really happy. And that's like, this is the other thing, right? The mount's gonna drop in the next five attempts. I've gone so far this, th like before I started this year's round, like before this year's event started, I had 850 attempts. I've clocked up to 1600. 46. <laughs> 750 attempts in one two-week period. Only a hundred less than I had managed to get in all of the it, Well, I mean, I might not have had rarity installed for some of them, but that's okay. Do you know what I mean? Like that's, that is a huge accomplishment. Regardless of the actual outcome, that in and of itself is a huge accomplishment. And I am so proud of myself for sticking with it stubbornly and streaming it every, I've streamed every attempt, every single one. And I'm just like, I set out to do something and I did it. And that is, I feel like that's something to be proud of. No amount, 22 fucking toxic wastelings. I'm not sure how many toxic wastelings I've got because I don't have like TSM or Altolic or anything up at the moment. I've just got rarities, Tomcat, saved instances and GSE. So I've got nothing that will track it. <laughs> It is a lot of runs. Exactly. Massive amount of runs. Like, right? It's, yeah, absolutely. I'm supposed to be the healer, right? Zam will be fine. Zam's the tank. Zam will be fine. Everyone else just has to not stand and stuff. <clears throat> Massive amount of runs. Ah, see some. Because there's one mount. Good kick, though. 
Wish I could combine them to get them out. Lamau and round and run count is only six. Eight. Only? That's huge, Yuri. That's huge. Forty-seven. Nope, that's not the right button. <laughs> cool if we had a token system type thing, I get one per run and can hand in a ton for it eventually. Yeah, bad luck protection. Uh, we were talking about it a little bit earlier today. Um, like, you know, every time you got one that didn't have a mount in it, you got a token. And then once you had the three, 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 three of them, you could buy the mount. Uh, but look. Maybe, maybe one day. Stand stuff all the time, be DPS boost. Everyone else should be banned from standing and stuff. On the positive note, this is great wind walker practice. That's funny. Ah, uh, for the cheers, let's go. Then bedtime, yes. Three tunes to go. No clue how to set up Altaholic. Uh, I don't think you do set it up. You just install it and then log into all your tunes once to like so it can grab the data from them all i think even use a cologne that's how much dedicated i am i'm so proud of you sam look at you go look at you go three to go But yeah, from like, I, it's been a long time since I set up Altaholic, but I'm fairly sure all you need to do is just have it enabled and then log into a character and it'll log all the info it needs. And then that info will be accessible when you're on other tunes. Like that's all it does. What an interesting fortnight it's been. What is normal now? I know, right? Like that's, this is going to be so strange going back to having days off. What? I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to maintain that like productiveness and use those three hours of what would have been streamed to actually get work done. Maybe catch up on my list of shit to do. Wouldn't that be phenomenal? I should look into all my alts as I'm leveling. Yeah, exactly. So as long as you have it installed and enabled, obviously if you have an alt, the altaholic add-on has to be enabled on that character for it to be able to turn on and log stuff. Uh, but yeah, 48. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it works between accounts, though. It does. You have to do it specifically, but there is an area in the Altaholic thing where if you have both of, both of them open and logged in at the same time, you can get it to log information between the two of them. Um, I don't know how. I don't have multiple accounts, but I know that there is a function for that because that is incredibly useful, uh, being able to track how much you've, stuff you've got across multiple accounts. Uh, even things like TSM and stuff now have multi-account support, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I am, I'm pretty sure. Um, for reals, yeah, go have a look, have a dig around in the options and stuff. I don't remember exactly where it is, because again, I don't use it, um, but I'm I'm pretty sure you can. Share the data between accounts, yeah, exactly. Thank you, Haley, for confirming. I'm not losing my mind. I'm here to kick ass and punch zombies. Sounds good, Jess, let's go do that. This is 49. Save hours for me each week. Yeah, go do it. Go do it. Oh my god, TSM has multiple account support. Yep, a lot of add-ons do these days, I think, because so many of them, so many of the developers realize that that's like a thing that's really popular now, <laughs> to have multiple accounts, even if they're not full of tunes. Um. What is TSM? Trade Skill Master. It has a whole bunch of amazing functions for like auctioning and stuff like that and crafting and obviously trade skill profession type deals. Uh, but I mostly use it for auctioning. That was quick. 49. Here we go. Attempt number 50. 750 for the attempt. Six uh, for the attempt, for the year. 1600 overall. Uh, TSM is huge oxygen giant. Yeah, it's an, it's enormous. It's really difficult to set up. Disagree. Go find a YouTube video, follow it step by step. 
it's set up, bang, done. It's actually really easy to do, really easy. If I can do it, anyone can bloody well do it, let me tell you. It's, it can be difficult to tweak it to be really super duper effective, but in order to do the, like, the basic stuff, it's really easy. Predict the QQLT one. Huh? TSM is a bit more difficult to set up after you figure it out. It's 100% worth it. I have a solution to share my interface with the fuck folder between different computers, but this would help a lot, of course. Of course. I'm not sure how it goes sharing that data across multiple PCs, because uh, add-ons tend to be computer specific, um, but they can share across multiple accounts, for sure. <clears throat> Shake camel again. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, is your macro used to log out your characters? Yep, slash log out. That easy. So I just made it into a button that I can click without having to open the menu. Come on, Aaron Jesus. <sighs> 15 days, 50 characters. 750 attempts, 1,600 total. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. There you have it. No heartbreaker this year. Maybe 2023. Ah, oh, dearie me. At least I'm done. At least I'm done. Always use Alt F4. Alt F4 exits the game entirely. Slash log out puts you to character select. You don't have to launch the whole fucking program again. <laughs> um, uh, slash can't be two characters less. But, meh, doesn't matter. Either way. Always next year. Indeed. Thank you for your good night. No worries. Rest well, Yuri. We'll see you next time. Heartbroken. I am going to go sleep, but first we're going to raid. Uh, and we're also going to talk about the rest of the week. See? So, uh, tonight being Tuesday night, no stream. Wednesday, 9.2 launch, not Squirt Day, 9.2 launch. Um, uh, good, that's where we're going to go. Um, Friday, not, probably not toys. I think what we're going to do is... Um, Excuse me, focus in on some uh, 9.2 collectibles. So just explore the new zone, see how many of them we can grab, like why the hell not. Uh, and then on Saturday, it's our six year anniversary celebration stream. So I've been streaming for six years on Twitch as of like Thursday. Uh, 24th of Feb is my anniversary. So we're going to celebrate on Saturday. I have a giveaway for every hour. There are a few fun things in there, like mount codes in WoW, uh, some gift cards for some of my affiliates, and some Logitech peripherals. Uh, so if that is something that interests you, be sure to tune in on Saturday. Sunday we're going to do some transmog hunting, and Monday wrapping around to Mount Farm Monday again. I don't have a March schedule yet, because I have been busy as fuck, but that's going to be something I do during this week. So if there's anything that you'd be super keen to see me do in WoW, or outside of, uh, next month, drop your suggestions in in uh, in Discord, there is a feedback channel that you can feel free to use. Uh, go right ahead, you know. It's tell me what you really think. Uh, but yeah, so it'll be great fun. I'm really looking forward to that. But um, that's where we're slotting. We're moving back to normal. I do have surgery in March, uh, so that'll be interesting. I'll be taking off a couple of streams for recovery, and then having a couple of shorter streams just as I kind of get back into the swing of things after having an uh, implant put into my jaw. Good fun. Um, living up to his name, it is indeed. Good night, Chaos. Night Seeker. Bedtime, indeed. Boo his RNG. It's okay. Next year, go get some sleps. Gonna go to bed and let's not see each other for at least like at least twenty four hours. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, bought some Tim Tams. Yay, Haley. Enjoy. Enjoy. Wonderful. Okay, so that's what we've got to look forward to. Uh, follow on Twitch. Turn on your notifications for when I go live. Join the Discord. Turn on notifications for at everyone. I use it exceptionally rarely, but I do ping when we go live. Follow me on Instagram. Feel free to turn on notifications there as well if you'd like. Love that engagement rate. Follow me on Twitter. 
You can turn on notifications there if you'd like. You're going to get a few of them, though. Um, follow me on TikTok. And you can even follow my Facebook page if you so desire. Uh, but please do. Like, really, it helps so much more than you will ever fucking know. I kid you not. Um, good. Let us type in this and then copy paste that. And then type in this. We're going to raid Kuhn, which we haven't managed to do in a while because I don't think he's been on when I've been finishing up. Uh, but we're going to go send some love. Make sure you grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fialma Hype emote because you're either not subbed or you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, both of which are totally okay, you can still copy and paste the entire message into Kuhn's chat, delete Fialma Hype, replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and drop it when we get there, just to give him some love. And uh, I'll see you on Wednesday. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. Fuck the heartbreaker, and I will see you on Wednesday. Nine, two. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.